This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. This episode is brought to you by Will Anderson's new comedy show, Will Informed. I know Will Anderson. I know you know him. Mm Mm-hmm. And Casper Mattresses. Oh. Do you know him? Very well. (laughs) Intimately. Red Hot Comic Book Movie News. Shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. (laughs) Ha ha. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is Jim, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me, as always, my co-host, Nick Mason. He was giving me a quizzical look. That's because we had really funny banter I don't like before this the forced, show. I don't like this and forced I joviality. Laughed. I laughed because we had such good banter. There was silence. I want to be clear. <laughs> we pre-recorded some ads yep. for financial purposes. Yep. And then there was some silence. We said nothing. <laughs> then you hit record. You had a blank, dead-eyed stare. And you hit record. And then you're like, <laughs> And I'm like, did something funny happen behind me? It's going. But there wasn't you. Ma- you- I, I, I was just trying to bring some atmosphere, some levity into the show. You know what I mean? Kick it off with the bang. You know what I mean? You know when sometimes you'll see like a like a Today Show or a morning show? Yes. And you, it, the camera zooms in and they're chatting to each other. Like, yeah. what are they talking about? What are they talking about? And they turn, they're like, anyway. <laughs> anyway. What are you talking about? What were they talking about? Anyway, in our case, nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Silence. And all, and what a thing that gets me is when it when like there'll be like a, a, a talk show like that and they'll be like, and here it's this guy and, and they'll be like, nice to be here. And there's a hand. You, you were there already. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That guy should be like, yeah, yeah, I was here. You said hello before. What if they didn't know? What if that's how they do it? Oh. But aren't a lot of talk shows, like late night shows, they do the interview prior? They do like a pre-interview. They do. The, like, some producer comes in. We're going to ask you these questions. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Whatever, yeah, because yeah. you don't want any dead air. No, you don't want any dead They're air. They're like, okay, we're going to ask you the story about your dog. Yeah. And ask the story about your ex-wife. Tell, tell us about the new season of whatever crap you're in. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about that, yeah? Oh, yeah. Tell Work us about that, it. Yeah. 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 It's on FX, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is. Yeah. They do some good stuff, probably. You know what else does some good stuff, Mason? Oh, I'm ready. What, a, what a segue. Uh, Ryan... You're all about forced joviality and excellent segues this Thank week, which I appreciate. Uh, Ryan Johnson, who uh, has directed many things that you like and one thing that you didn't. Mm-hmm. Looper. I'm, of course, talking about Looper. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're the only one in the world who doesn't like that movie. Is it the fake Bruce Willis nose on Joseph Gordon-Levitt? No, that's the one redeeming feature of that movie. <laughs> is it the moment... When he turns <laughs> and he's got that hawk-like <laughs> snooter. Mmm, delicious. Is it the bit where they... See that hairline recede through time. I was going to say, mm. the, the bit where they, they, they're cutting through time and Joseph Gordon-Levitt is getting older mm. and then it's just Bruce Willis in a wig. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> That's the best part. It is the best part. <laughs> he goes he goes into a, a change room at a clothing store as <laughs> Joseph Gordon-Levitt and then he comes out as Bruce Willis. <laughs> it's brilliant. That's the best bit. Uh, anyway, he said he's excited to see what J.J. Abrams does in episode nine. Kind of like he was talking about how he's excited to see the story taken whatever dire- whatever direction that can kind of... He wants to be... Have, be, have his up, uh, sub- expectations subverted, et cetera, et cetera. Do you think it, he's involved much in the episode nine storytelling? Or? Absolutely not. Yeah. It seemed to be the other way for episode eight as well. It was kind of like, just do whatever you want, Ryan Johnson. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Now, this is where we're at. Luke's on an island. Han Solo is thrown into a pit. The planet exploded. Do what you want with that. Oh, exactly. That's right. Yeah. But, and again, that's my that's my biggest fear, I think, for this yeah. episode nine, is he just goes, people want mystery boxes. Here we go. I want a mystery box in the very last movie in, yes. this, in this trilogy. You know what I do want in this, uh, genuinely, in this... Well, w- next week is Star Wars Celebration. It's going to be all Star <laughs> Wars all the time and probably four minutes on the Hel- new Hellboy movie. Okay, depending great. Depending on how that goes. <laughs> yep. But uh, actually, I'm looking forward to that a lot, Hellboy. Uh, but did you see that? Re- actually, there was a trailer this week for that. It was just an all red band trailer because it's R-rated. I didn't see that. Seems rude. Their heads pulled off. And- Apparently, in... I don't know if this is true. But you know, there's the scene. You know, when they go into the secret headquarters and there's the lady in the shop. Yeah, that's Gary Oldman's sister. Really? Yeah, Larry Oldman. Larry Oldman. <laughs> Oldman. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Is she's is she's an actor. I guess so. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Could be Larry o- Gary Oldman himself though. He's a chameleon, isn't he? It's true. He was Winston Churchill recently. He was like, "This was. I can't. We're gonna do it." That's my Winston Churchill. Was uh, that not just a recording of Winston Churchill's <laughs> famous speech? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Yeah. He's a chameleon is what yeah. I'm saying. Uh-huh. He could be Larry, old woman. Yeah, you better to. believe it. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. There you go. But uh, what was I going to say? 
So, one thing you want to see in Star Wars. Yeah. Oh, I want it to... You know how the, the original trilogy ends well? Yes. The prequel trilogy ends badly. Mm-hmm. I would very much like this one to end badly. And then we have to wait 20 years. And then we come <laughs> back in 20 years. Yeah. And the galaxy's just fucked. Again. Uh, yeah. Because why not? And it's the second order. It's the second order or whatever. They're the but, same. But what if Kylo Ren has been the Darth Vader for 20 years or whatever? Oh, yeah. Like, what yeah. What happens then? Do yeah, you know what I mean? Good question. Because otherwise, again, you come back for a new trilogy in 20 years. What's the new threat? It's a, the Empire's back. No, it's those worms. What worms? The big worms in the asteroids. There's only one of those guys. No, there's heaps. Really? Yeah. Okay. There's one in every asteroid? Yeah. It's quite a lot, really. That's what I'm saying. How do they get there? How do they get out? I guess they don't. Mm. Do you reckon they, go to the, they grow to the size of the thing that they hold that they're in? Like a goldfish? Yes. My friend Joe has a, has a goldfish, right? And a yeah. turtle. Uh, not anymore. He just got married. Oh, yeah. So right. his wife, kiss, yeah, kiss his, that goldfish goodbye, Joe. His wife beat him to death. But, Ow. Yeah. But this gold, I think because the turtle would eventually eat the goldfish. So the goldfish is continuing to grow. Because, you know, they normally grow to the size of their tank. This one just will just keep growing, I think, as a defense mechanism so the turtle doesn't eat it. So it's like this football-sized sized goldfish. Is that true? I don't think that's true About just growing to the size of the tank. I think it is. Why wouldn't it be true? For many Why? reasons. Well, yes. Why would that be true? That, that if I feel like that's... Why would it be exclusive to that species? Other species do it, probably. Well, people don't do it. Dogs don't do it. Dogs, some dogs do it. Well, let's test it. Let's get your dog a really big dog house. The dog's already grown, mate. Bigger. The dog's seven years old this year. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They don't get bigger now. I forgot what we were talking about. Ryan Johnson. Oh, that's he's, right. This is a goldfish movie. And Joe's goldfish. Yeah, and Joe's goldfish. Yeah. Do you think the goldfish is going to eat Joe eventually? Probably. That's, that might be it. Maybe they're going to team <laughs> up and eat him. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what, do you, what would you think about that, though? Like, the, the trilogy ends badly, and then we just have to sit on it for 20 years. Oh, ooh. Boo. I know. Because I mean, that's how the new trilogy starts. Uh, not the yeah. original trilogy. The, like, the original trilogy, sorry. It starts where it's like, everything's bad. That's true. Everything's bad, man. But don't you want closure for some of these characters? Yeah, I'll take, yeah, but you can have closure and also. Well, that's true. Yeah. So you want closure? Would you? Would you? Would they you, won't do it. Just bear in mind, no, it's not going to happen. But yeah, would you hope for closure for like uh, Leia and Chewie and C three PO and R two D two, and then trouble for the new guys? Sure, why not? Okay. I don't care. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, I'm not. I don't. I don't know anything about this. I'll, well, well, we'll know next week when there'll they'll probably be a new trailer. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Mason. Yes. Uh, Ryan Johnson also mentioned that after he finishes with Knives Out, which will be out this year, it's his oh, yes. new movie, uh, he's going to be head back to work on his new trilogy, Star oh, Wars trilogy. Star Wars trilogy. So people okay. are like, he's definitely fired. He's not coming back. It seems like he's not fired at this point, but it's Star Wars and you never know. Why would know. he be fired though? Because it's, some people didn't like, half probably didn't <laughs> like it or whatever. It still made a billion. But he's not half. being fired. It's not like he's on retainer yeah. at, at Disney. He's not on... Ten bucks an hour at Disney. <laughs> there's just there's a if you type in oh, right which um um ah uh, I gotta do something good otherwise the boss is gonna get mad at me. <laughs> Mickey's gonna ah uh, Mickey's gonna call me in his office. <laughs> what have you done this financial quarter? Uh. Uh, I don't uh, look if you type in Kath, Kathleen Kennedy Ryan Johnson into YouTube it's just all the videos are just like. They're both being fired for <laughs> for whatever reason. Yeah, right. Anyway, here's someone who hasn't been fired. Uh, Taika Waititi is directing Akira. Oh, yeah. He mentioned this a few years back that he would like to to, to make Akira. And uh-huh. what he said about that was he's going to take it back to the books mm-hmm. and also use unknown Asian teenagers as the lead, which I think would be an amazing way to do it. I think that'd be great. Yeah, so it would be truer to the source materials. And I think it would also, you know, bring, bring a bunch of new actors into... Hollywood and such. I may be very wrong here, mm. as I am most of the time when we talk about anime, but I feel like the animated version really isn't that different from the, the original, the manga. Well, I, I have you know, Mason, that yes. there are many distinct differences. <laughs> yes. Name one. No, no, I don't know. Okay. But I'll have you know that okay. I, I'm saying I know that. Yes. But you don't know because you know, I know I'm more of a bit of an auteur than you, obviously. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. So I know that there's yeah. differences. Yeah. Well, there are differences. <laughs> yes. It's true. But like, I feel like yeah. the, the original anime packed a lot in. Right. So the so the have you when was the last time you saw Akira? I couldn't tell you. Okay. It, so, I don't even know if I have. Okay. Right. <laughs> so so the biggest difference I feel like in the orig- in the in the in the movie spoilers mm. for Akira, a movie that came out in 1986 or whatever. Yes. 88. Uh, I'm going to Google that because we'll get messages. 
You better believe it. Uh, at the end of that, right, uh, everybody's always t- he's, everybody's talking about Akira. Was was Akira? What's going What's going on? Right. And at the end of the the movie, Akira shows up, and that's basically the end. Like he yeah. d- destroys Tokyo again, and and that's basically the end. But in the manga. Uh, he sticks around, and him and Tetsuo sort of rule Neo Tokyo together for a bit. Just for a bit. Just for a bit. Just for a long weekend. Yeah, cool. Okay. Yeah. Like a four day or a three day? Uh, like a four day. We're talking Friday to Monday. We're talking Saturday to Tuesday. Thursday. What? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's Neo Tokyo, man. Oh, okay. I forgot. Rules don't apply. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Thursday. Sunday, back to work on Monday. That's not a bad weekend. Mm, that's right. I think it should be a three day weekend. Who the fuck said five days of work? It's outrageous. Oh, you mean in life? Yes. Wow. It's ridiculous. Wow. You should gain incredible psychic powers and lead a revolution. It should be at least four, three. At minimum. Yeah. What are we doing? I don't understand it. Well, our lives have been locked into this cycle of five and two. I agree. And not only that, one of those week da- one of those should be on a Wednesday. You just get Wednesday off. Nice. So then you do two days, day off, two days, weekend, baby. Nice. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's sick. And the occasional Neo Tokyo weekend, a four-day weekend. Yeah. Well, yeah, occasionally your city explodes. <laughs> yes. You know. <laughs> and you get the weekend. But anyway. that's, that's the thing, like, because the, the, the Akira manga is literally thousands of pages long. The fact that they packed... So much of it into you know yeah, right. the movie is actually quite incredible. Yeah, but so does that mean they're gonna? Does mm, that mean this new version is gonna have that, of... that 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 extended yeah. bit that okay. long week? They're gonna have the long weekend at the end. You yeah, know, that's interesting because yeah. all I know is there are distinct differences. Weekend between the tattoos. Versions. Yes, mm-hmm. there are distinct differences between the versions. I, I know you that. are aware of the distinct differences. Definitely, I am. Yeah. Uh, CinemaCon happened, Mason. Where all I the... can't wait for all the emails. Like you don't, you've never <laughs> seen or read Akira. I said, I said I haven't seen it or may not have seen it. I definitely haven't read it no no they're, they're for me oh, the emails are for me no I know you've seen it yeah. I think you used to have a VHS of it I did have a VHS of it I knew that yeah, you know, now everybody knows oh what I don't know yeah. uh, CinemaCon happened it's where the movie studios bring out journos and go what do you think of Terminator 6 or Terminator 3 whatever it is <laughs> and they're like we like this one yeah <laughs> And everyone goes, what do you think of Sonic the Hedgehog footage? And everyone's like, it looks pretty good, pretty I guess. Good, yeah. uh-huh. So anyway, they showed we a bunch of... We daren't say anything else. Yes. This looks pretty good. So they uh, they showed a bunch of new stuff. Uh, one of the, th- There's a few things of note. Disney mentioned that they're working towards... Because they've folded all the Fox stuff in. They've uh-huh. got plans for Alien, Avatar, uh, a- uh, the new Avatar movies, um, Kingsman, Maze Runner, Planet of the Apes, uh, Deadpool. So they're going to fold all these back in. And they also said uh, in the 2019 slate of movies... New Mutants was in that. So huh. we're definitely getting it this year. Cinema release. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Some kind of release. Uh, it's It'll a- be put on your phone like that U2 album. <laughs> yes. You won't be able to escape it. <laughs> and you'll never be able to delete it. Mm-hmm. Just five gig. Just dump five gig on your phone when you're asleep. Yeah. Yeah. So well, there you go. What about any of those properties that you are particularly... Well, there's a few that interest, interest me. Maze Runner. Yeah. I thought that was done. They, uh-huh. they they went to the scorch. They got the death cure. They they? they did that. They got the death cure. So in, in whatever order those movies happen, exactly. <laughs> and Planet of the Apes, but we I guess in the Planet of the Apes we haven't got the astronauts come back yet story. Exactly. Yeah. Do so, they dare do that again? Daren't they? Daren't they? Who who in the in the current uh, Hollywood elite would mm. look good in that loincloth? You know what I mean? Oh, they'd get too ripped now. It's not as cool. Yeah, exactly. It's you not know what I mean? Yeah. You need uh-huh. someone who you need like. Jim Halpert before he started working out, before he Jack, <laughs> before, he, you know. before he Jack Ryan, uh-huh. you know what okay. I mean? Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, mm. you know, yeah. You want the kind of man who's did a lot of boxing in his youth just to survive on the streets, yeah, right, and uh-huh. then just smoke cigarettes just forty years for after that, and then you make the movie. Mickey Rourke, yeah, he'd probably do it. <laughs> I'm just assuming that's what Charlton Heston's fitness. Oh yeah, that's probably was. true. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Uh, here's a, here's an article. Fourteen things you don't know about Akira if you never read the manga. So apparently there's fourteen differences. Yeah, that sounds that sounds right to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wrote this article. I see yes, now. That's right. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, seems seems like clickbait, but at the same time, I've clicked. So who's the fool? I believe it's groundbreaking animation <laughs> for the time. For the time, and yep. even for now. Would you, you say it holds up today? Go, yeah, there's some techniques there. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Yeah. In the era of like He Man. Yeah. Just just garbage animation. Mm-hmm. Akira stood stood above it all. There's an Ultraman series on uh, I saw on that. Netflix right yeah. now, so I'm excited to check that Me out. Me too. Are you? Are you... <laughs> nah, probably not. <laughs> okay, right. What about this, Mason? Yes. So they showed new footage, and we got some new images of Terminator, the new Terminator Three. I did see those photos. Yeah. Uh, Linda Hamilton, uh, Arnie's back. He's mm-hmm. back. Do you get it? Yeah, I get it. Uh, but. 
he's a, he's an old man again. I think he's a human. I don't think he's a robot. I think he's a regular human man. Yeah, I think they're going to do the he was the template. Yeah, right. Situation. So that's so Sergeant Candy is out of continuity oh, officially. No, that's right. Can't have your cake and eat it too. You really can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the the apparently the footage looked amazing. Candy cake. That's good. Your beef cake. Beef cake. Yes, beef and candy together <laughs> in a cake. Uh, the new footage they showed uh, Sarah Connor's blowing up Terminators on a bridge or whatever. I think in the future, in the the modern day. Okay. I don't I don't know if there's a John Connor in this. I've heard that they're using Edward Furlong's likeness for like flashbacks. Okay. Uh, that's what I heard. I don't know whether that's so true. So does that mean he's dead in this universe? Well, that's what I was thinking. What, if, what if the savior of humanity is Sarah Connor? She's like, well, now I have to be the savior of humanity because John Connor's dead or whatever. I'm good enough. She seems better than him anyway. <laughs> I also like the fact that she refers to her dead son as John Connor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> John Cutter's gone, so me, Sarah Connor, I'm going to be the John Cutter, if that mm. makes sense, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, who are, who are you, Wait, like, lady, who are on? you? Yeah. I've just come out of the mental asylum again. It's yes. me, Sarah Connor. But it's interesting that all of the bad Terminator films don't have her in them. That's true. Except for Salvation, she does a voiceover at the start, but I don't think that really counts. Mm. Um, you mean Linda Hamilton specifically, yes, not, yes. Okay. not Sarah Connor, yeah. Uh, but there is apparently the new Terminator is, is a split in half Terminator. He splits in two and he's like, now there's two of me. And they're like, double the trouble. That's what they say. <laughs> oh, yes. <when> happens. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Every time it happens a whole bunch. Of, and towards the end, they're in like, you know, they're in a steel mill and they're all, they're all bloodied up and like <laughs> wounded and they're staggering. And he, he splits in half and they're like, ah, oh, double trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is double trouble again, I guess. Here we go. Yeah. And then he goes, twice the fun. <laughs> yeah. It's now, be who good. is it? It's, is it? it's a familiar face. I can't. It's the Ghost Rider guy. Yes, from Agents yes. of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's that yes, guy, yeah. his name I cannot remember. But now he's huge. Now he's huge. He's got real big. Mm-hmm. There's like footage on Instagram of Arnie training and being like, more biceps, mm. less biceps. I'm kidding, yeah. more. Uh-huh. <laughs> Obvious, obviously. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. So that's exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Should I be? Don't know. What, what's do we know? We don't otherwise know many plot details, no. do we? We'll probably get a trailer in the is next. It ne- is it set now? Is it in the future? I, be, I think it's set now. That's sick. Yeah, is it? Yeah, it's pretty sick. So, like most movies set now, you think that's pretty sick? It's pretty sick. Yeah. Name a movie that's set now. I can't. That's pretty sick. <laughs> I've stymied you, and that in itself is pretty sick. I agree. This is my new attitude. <laughs> Everything's pretty sick. I don't like this. Nah, the fact <laughs> that you don't like it's pretty sick. That's probably true. Yeah. Uh, and Avengers Endgame sale. Ticket, tickets went on sale, I should oh, yes. say. Uh, did you get your tickets? Did you snap them up, Mason? No. Like a crocodile no. devouring cinema tickets? No. No. Are you going to? You probably just go to the movies. Probably just go to the movies, I guess, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fair yeah. enough. I am uh, might, might check my phone earlier. Yeah? Is it sold out before I get there? It's not. Go and get What if tickets. you have to sit at the very front on the Shout side? Shout out to uh, Senior Constable McGuire, yeah. who I was, in a, I was in a kebab shop late yeah. at night, like 2 a.m. And he so roughed you up? It's not important. He did. <laughs> yeah. But I was getting my kebab and I was leaving and I got a tap on the shoulder and I turned around and went, oh, oh no, no. <laughs> it's my time. <laughs> they found me. And he's like, love the show. Really? Like, yeah. yeah. Get the fuck out of yeah. here. And okay. he's like, did you get your Endgame tickets yet? And I went, yep. You lied to a cop? Yeah, that's right. I don't even care what I do. <laughs> you know he listens. Pretty sick, right? <laughs> no. You're in trouble now. Oh, my God. Oh, you're right. And as soon as Disney buys the Victorian Police <laughs> yeah. Department, I'm, I'm going to get tri- arrested. I'm calling triple zero right now. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. That's our 911, everybody. Yeah, it is. Is it true that in Australia, if you call 911, it diverts? Let's try it now. Do you want me to? I'll do no. it. No. I'll do it. I don't give a shit. Wait, then I'll go to jail also. That's right. I guess we'll can record from jail. This was all a ruse. <laughs> me and Maguire cooked it up and sent you to jail. <laughs> Anyway, I did get tickets, or my brother got tickets, I should say. We're doing we're doing gold class mm. on the morning it comes out, on the Wednesday morning. Oh, la di da. Simply for the, the, for, the sh- for the shut up factor. Because there's people way less spoil it immediately, yeah. Well, that, I mean, there's way less people in that cinema, in the gold class. Oh, that's actually a good point. And there's a thousand in it. In yeah. Yeah. And you won't get any, like, when there's a sick action sequence, and there will mm. be, there won't, there won't be cheers in the audience. There'll just be a small golf clap. Yeah, I'll tell you that. From some of the seats. And then there'll be somebody being delivered food in front of me, and I can't see half the screen. <laughs> exactly, that's right. Yeah. 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 Anyway. And uh, there'll be a big reveal, and somebody's monocle will pop off <laughs> and land in your drink. <laughs> Uh, I do like gold. Think I, he thinks he's better than all of us. I don't think I've ever bought an actual gold class ticket for myself. Right. My brother bought me this one as an oh, early right. birthday present. But I used to get a lot as, when I was a teacher. I used to get a lot of gold class tickets, Mason. In exchange for straight A's? Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm. I'm, calling po- I'm calling the police on you. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
Uh, be- I'm calling the reading writing hotline. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's how you ran at a teacher. One three double o six triple nine o six. Like the jingle. You remember that? Is that, a, yes. is that it? That's pretty good. Uh, it's a really difficult number to remember mm. if you're bad at reading and writing. Yeah. It should be one. But maybe you're good at numbers. I oh, think yeah, that's a good point. So, you know, yeah. those things are not always mutually exclusive. <laughs> that's true. Uh, it beat the previous uh, pre-sale record of The Force Awakens in just six hours. It's bloody smashed it, mate. How long did The Force Awakens take to get to there? Like one day, I don't know. Losers. I think it's like first day or something. Losers. I don't know, man. I don't have all the, all the all right. information. <laughs> okay. But uh, they did show Avengers footage at CinemaCon. There mm-hmm. was some. There was some new footage. Uh, there was that small trailer this week, which you haven't watched, and I watched once. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's not. There's a little bit more information in there, but you probably don't want to go over it. I'd I don't know. Not really. Yeah, Is there anything to. when you say a little bit more information? Yeah. More plot information. Yeah, a tiny bit. Yeah. Okay. Right. Not nothing. I think that would blow your mind. Okay. But uh, yeah. How many more theories and YouTube videos do you think you're going to get out of it, though? Out of me? Yeah. I'm not. I don't think I'll do much on this again. Okay. I think I'm kind of great. Yeah. <laughs> How many are going to exist on YouTube though? Oh, millions forever. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Terrific. Now All leading right. up after. Yeah. Okay. Does it still? Does that? Does that? Uh, trailer. Does that? That? Does that also hold true that they? It's probably only the first ten minutes or twenty it minutes. Seems of the movie? pretty close to that. Okay. Yeah. The one thing I have seen from that mm. is. Uh, and again, spoilers for a trailer I haven't seen. Yeah. Or it's it's a a, a still frame. It's um. Hawkeye has a really, really big sleeve oh, yeah. tattoo. I love it. We were talking about that before the show. <laughs> yeah. What's he doing? What's Incredible. his game? What's Look, his end game? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. Yeah. Face tattoos is his end game. <laughs> tears. <laughs> Neck to tears. face. Yeah. 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 It's tears for all his family who were killed. Good. Yeah. And then they come back at the end and he's like, oh, God oh. damn it. <laughs> and his wife looks him up and down. And he's like, what did you do? <laughs> You're out of the house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So he's got a tattoo, a sleeve tattoo of a Ronin on his oh, arm. Okay, right. That means his family died, presumably. Mm-hmm. And then he went out and said, I'm going to do four different tattoo sessions at this tattoo parlor over a series of months. Yeah. Huh. I want you to put a Ronin on my arm. Because yeah. I'm Ronin now, that's what I do. That's Ronin, so I can't use this arm for like a few months because they'd be tattooed. Can't use my bow arm. Can't or my sword arm. Oh, sword arm. Can't, can't, can't use a pool. Can't use any of those things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, it's a bad look. A whole bunch of ninjas crashing in his apartment. He's just rubbing that. <laughs> That tattoo the cream, yeah. yeah, the ointment on him. <laughs> Guys, I'm ointmenting, and they're like, "All right, I'll give, give you a minute. minute." Yeah, I feel like somebody I, has to say something to him in the my, movie. My right? my my hope is, my feeling is that he has spent the last couple of months going undercover in right. some sort of triad crime syndicate kind of situation, okay. and that's why he's got the tattoos. He's deep undercover and the haircut. Yes, <laughs> every terrible decision he's made, yep. I'm going to say it's because he's gone undercover. Because anything else is embarrassing. Everything else is embarrassing. <laughs> I'm hoping for a scene where they all get back together, and, and and Black Widow's like, "Oh, you must have gone undercover, and that's why you have all the stuff." And he's like, "Yep, yeah, <laughs> yep. That's why. That's why I did it. Yeah." Anyway, let's take my sports car to, <laughs> to the next destination. I'm not going through a midlife crisis. This is fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, the Russo brothers also confirmed there is a three, it's just over a three hour runtime. So there you go. Yeah. We mm. all feel we can get through that. Yeah. I'm not going to drink anything the night before and then wake up. Yeah. And then not drink anything. And then you're going to look dehydrated and ripped. I'm going to look so ripped, mate. I'm going <laughs> to yeah. look amazing in that uh-huh. cinema. Yeah. yeah. With my horrible body with holes in it. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's right. Actually, it looks pretty good. How are you feeling this week? Much better. Okay. I, you know, I should have taken last week off, but I couldn't bear the thought of you having another episode over me. Oh, <laughs> just that'd lord- be incredible. Just lording over the two or three you're ahead of me yeah, on the show. that's right. Uh-huh. <laughs> that gave me the strength to push through. Mm. But no, I feel much better this week. It's good. Uh, so it looks like it's going to smash all sorts of box office records. Uh, probably, I would say at minimum, it'll be the third highest grossing film of all time. I How many say. tweets... Opening day mm. are going to be. Oh my god! I was watching Endgame and a guy next to me pissed in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many of those do you think there's going to be? I mean, it could. It, it'll trend. <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> so. <laughs> Hashtag Avengers Endgame pissing in a bottle. <laughs> Avengers Endgame piss bottle. Yeah. yeah. And if you're going to piss in a bottle, yes, take it out with you. Don't leave. Don't it for leave the it for the staff and the, the, yeah. the, the cinema employees. Also, don't piss in a popcorn because that's not going to. It's no good. It's, a, it's paper. It's just yeah. going to go right through. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't be doing that. 
don't piss in a cinema. Let's just. Why don't we keep it at that? Why don't we okay, leave cool. that as the general? Right. And the, and they have they have definitively knocked back intermission. There's not going to be an intermission. No intermission. You got to okay. get you got to get as many people in as you can. Okay, as All long right. as you can. Guys, yeah. start training now. Yes, <laughs> Kegels. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Learn to survive with a minimum amount of water. Definitely. Yeah. Uh-huh. I ration out my water, so if I'm like, okay, I've got an hour left, I can definitely make this. Then I'll crack the water. Yeah. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. that's uh-huh. how I do it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kamel Nanjiani is said to be joining the Eternals movie, apparently. Oh. Who you will know from uh, comedy and podcasting and now famous movies and TVs and that's such. That's correct. So, yeah, there you and go. And that episode of The Twilight Zone, which is apparently out now, but we can't watch because it's regional. I have watched it. How'd it go? It's fine. Okay, good. Uh, it's kind of you know what you know. I'll talk about what we're reading. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. I, I, I didn't hate it, and I like him, so I'm glad yeah, he's okay. in this. It's funny because he used to because these what's the podcast he used to do? Ah, uh, the indoor kids. Indoor kids, yeah. Mm-hmm. With, uh, with his wife Emily V. Gordon, they used to talk about all this stuff, you know, and and now he's actually in them. It's pretty yeah, incredible. It's you know, cool. it gives it's hope for us that one day we can have a sleep tattoo and be in Avengers <laughs> movies. True. Do you think that's yeah, a possibility? Absolutely. Think this could be us. Let's get sleep tattoos now. Good, excellent. Yeah. No, this is as high. This is as this is as successful as we get. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I couldn't handle any more success. <laughs> I don't know. I'm he, honest. I wonder if him being in that kind of informs the uh the kind of take there. Like is it gonna be a more lighthearted? Because it's also said that Angelina Jolie is gonna be in it. This is going to be a comic relief, is he? We're talking about the Eternals. At this Eternals point. again, okay, yeah, right? Yeah. How's the Twilight Zone? Lighthearted and fun? No, okay, not really. Then. But you know, he's a comedian in I like his it, one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a comedian in the show. Yes, yeah. I'll talk about it later. I'll talk all right, about we'll, later. Talk about we'll talk about later. We'll talk about later. We'll talk about later. Okay. But uh, so <laughs> the Eternals. Yeah. Do you think Angelina Jolie? Do you think it's gonna like having him and is gonna inform? Is it gonna be like a wacky team? Is it gonna? Is he gonna? That's always a good question. Whenever he's gonna get ripped and it's gonna be a serious situation. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? We, yeah. Because it's always whenever you, whenever a comedic actor gets cast, you're like, okay, are they gonna be the comic relief or are they gonna are they trying their dramatic chops? Yeah. That's you right. Uh huh. So we don't really know, we don't know who's directing this. We don't know when it's out. We don't we, we don't know what character is playing. Yeah. Once again, I can't remember what any of the Eternals do. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I've forgotten again. That's very good. But I'm excited because it's cosmic. Me too. Mm. Are you excited for this? I'm ready. David Harbour, Hellboy's own. Yes. Uh, and Rachel Weiss. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are joining Black Widow, the movie, the Black Widow movie. That's pretty cool. Year, okay. Yeah, so. All right. I don't. Again, it's one of those things. I don't know what this is going to be. Uh, hopefully fun or not fun spy stuff just spy stuff make a good spy movie I'll take a good spy movie mm-hmm. yeah so I mean she got those masks that you can <laughs> yes that's true masks, uh-huh yeah. yes yeah so there you go she what did, else did she have that's it sticks two sticks she got sticks two glowing sticks that yeah. she'll whap, 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 like that how do they go again whap, 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 whap. that's pretty good sitting you on the head yeah, uh-huh. with them yeah, yeah. what in kind Age of hair Ultron, she got in Age of Ultron she had that electric Situation. Oh, yeah, she had like, like the electric the punches suit. and whatever. Yeah. And that's disappeared. Yeah. Bring it back, I say. Yeah. Mm. One of my favorite moments in Endgame is the bit where they fight they fight that. Do you mean uh, Infinity War? Shut up, all right? <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> but, but one of my favorite moments is the bit where they fight uh, what are Thanos's children. Just say <laughs> one of my favorite moments in a movie. In a movie. And then from the context of what you're saying, we'll get what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But the bit where... One of my favorite moments in a movie <laughs> is, is when James Bond does that loop the loop in the car. I do And like the slide that. whistle noise goes. Why they do the slide whistle? I don't know. It kind of takes it away from the start. I feel like if they were to do a remastered version of that movie, they should take the slide Definitely, whistle Definitely, yeah. But they won't. No, they're yeah. not going to remaster any of those. But uh, so... Yeah, you know the bit where they fight the they the three of them fight the um what's her name in the the Thanos's. You are giving no information they're here. On, they're in Wakanda. <laughs> yes, it's Avengers: Infinity War. Yes, she like wipes out uh, Scarlet Witch and she's gonna kill her. Yes, and then like Black Widow standing behind her. Yeah, and then they beat the shit out of her. Yeah, that I think that's good. an amazing yes. bit. That movie. It is. Yeah, it's true. So anyway. I'm excited for the, whatever that movie is going to be. Also, mm. Suicide Squad is what is up with this? Okay, here we go. Joel Kinnaman is back, apparently. So that is Rick that's, Flag. It's Rick Flag, Ricky Flag and Robocop. And Robocop, yes. In Robocop remake failure. Viola Davis is also back. The Amanda Waller. Amanda Waller. Okay. I think both of those guys are great. I agree. In other things. Yep. <laughs> and so I think this, I don't think it's a mistake bringing them back at no, all. No. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Viola Davis probably does more than Joel Kinnaman does in that movie. Joel yeah, Kinnaman. I like him in that movie. Well, he should saying? be yeah. that. I mean, he should be he should be the 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 character focus in that movie. Like he should be the point of view character mm. because it's his girlfriend that's gone mad. Yeah, and and is looking for being you know redemption and being saved or whatever. So sure. he should be he should be in that more. But he's not. He's just like, hey guys, 
I don't trust you like this you. This is Katana. She's got a Katana that can steal your soul. She's got my back. <laughs> you watch it. Yeah. All you boomerang men. Well, that mm. one of you that's got a boomerang. <laughs> and the other one is... And uh, Slipknot's back. And Slip- they put his head back together. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> uh, Idris Elba is not dead shot. He's a new character. Oh. so Shot dead. Yes. He was killed before the start of the movie. Correct. So I don't know who that means he's going to be. There's, I mean, there's plenty of people that you could... He could be. It's very true. But only one he will be. Oh. Yeah, so there you go. So this is, he's just keeping the cast, it looks like, for the most part. So there you go. All right. Okay. I think it's a good cast. It was a good cast then. Uh-huh. It's still a good cast. Still a good cast so now. there you go. Will Smith, not back. Not back. Okay. Probably He's doing a something. I, I, I screenshotted this earlier. He's doing some sort of movie where he is, it's, it's, it's modern day Will Smith. Oh, yeah, Dude with, with versus twenty three year versus twenty three year old Will Smith yep. character, which is interesting, but also Will Smith has aged so well, yeah, that it's not. I think you just make him lankier, like Fresh Prince. Oh Prince yeah, lanky. Well, it's Fresh Prince era, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So I think that's kind uh-huh. of the extent What's of it. What's it called? The Gemini Man or something? Something like that. Okay. All right. What? Apparently, the... Sean Connery was up for that role. The Gemini Man. Yeah. Recently. Yeah. He no. I thought he's like dying somewhere in Scotland or something. Well, we can hope so, but if he isn't, <laughs> he could be doing Gemini Man. Really? Okay. Yeah, but that would work because you've got yeah. Again, like I guess it's we're in so a, much reference. We're, we're in a, we're in a de-aging frenzy oh, era, mate. so it's hot could, stuff. Exactly. Imagine that of current day whatever's left of Sean Connery <laughs> versus James Bond era Sean Connery. Yeah. Okay. But like like Doctor No era. It's a it's Ang Lee's clone thriller Gemini Man. Okay, so there you go. All right, All an elite right, assassin becomes a target of a mysterious young operative who can seemingly operative who can seemingly predict his every move. Oh my god! Initial release third of October. Brackets Russia. <laughs> okay, Russia only. What does that mean? Who knows? Right. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, okay. They're testing it on. People locked up in Siberia. Yeah, good. <laughs> if they enjoy it, wide release. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, Mason, in, in other DC news before we talk the topic of the week. I am ready. The Joker. Oh, just Joker. Just Joker, yes. Just Joker. Put on a happy face. Please do. It's got a brand new trailer. We were talking about it brief, briefly before the show. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> We still don't know anything about this movie. Are we? Two I, know, tra- I know what it's are we, about. Are we, like, yeah, we're, we're we're a teaser and a trailer in, right? The teaser was just him in makeup. Yeah, right. Doing uh-huh. a smile. Okay, so we're 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 a trailer in. I can't tell whether this is going to be good or horrible. I really right? can't. And I and that's based on. I think it looks. It's a good trailer. Yeah. But based like I've never seen Todd Phillips make anything close to this. Uh huh. Can he make? Can he pull off something like this? Yeah. Is this going to be just a weird Scorsese knockoff? Uh huh. Is it coming, you know, is it is it like years too late for something like this? Is there too much Joker? Are people not going to like this? Is there too much origin? weird underpants? Are there There's big so weird many weird, weird pairs of underpants yeah, in, that, exactly. in, that, in that trailer. So, yeah. I think he's definitely going to do a good good performance because mm. when does he not, really? Joaquin Phoenix. It's, it's not, true. Mm-hmm. He, doesn't, mm. he doesn't really turn in shit work, even in not great films. But... uh Remember that time he went mad for two years for no reason? I remember that. that. Maybe it's for this. <laughs> it could be for this, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he was cast and, and Todd Phillips is like, so do you want to go You know, you want to go crazy for a couple of years for this? And he's like, nah. Not this time, mate. No, this time didn't really work out too well. Yeah. But what, okay, I what didn't did he t- go crazy for again? Uh, the documentary about where he was going to be a rapper. Like It was based on him, like a fictionalized version of it. was his Oh, that Borat. thing none of us saw. Yeah, the, I'm not really here or I'm not who you are or whatever oh, it was yeah, called. Yeah, right, right, right. But he went okay. on Letterman and Letterman like made fun of him and yeah. whatever, yeah. I don't know what that was. Casey Affleck directed it or something right, as well. Okay, sure. Yeah, and nobody saw it and apparently it wasn't that great. But um, <laughs> okay, cool. anyway, I've got, I've got a trailer breakdown for this for many of my thoughts and whatever. Okay. But what did you think of this? I'm more interested in what you think. It's, I don't know. Like, it, I mean, I would like, It's that's the thing. Because I would like to see a superhero or supervillain movie in the style of a Scorsese movie. Yeah, man. I think that would be interesting. But at the same time, if it's just sort of taxi driver, mm. if it's just a man goes mad yeah, and then he puts some clown makeup on and causes a bit of mayhem and there's some obscure references to the Waynes yeah. and Arkham, whatever the version of Arkham is in this trailer, yeah, that's not anything, right? I think it can be. It's just a man going mad. We've seen man. I've yeah. seen falling down. Yeah, it's a dude who's 
cheeseburgers are too much or whatever. Exactly. His cheeseburgers <laughs> were too much. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'd, but I'd, I'd be okay. if it's a, if Breakfast was over. Oh, at that's the, right. At the, at the fast food restaurant. So the cheeseburgers weren't too much. No, no. Yeah. But he didn't want a cheeseburger. I thought he was being very unreasonable. Me too. It's... It's it's the staff. They're not. They don't run. <laughs> don't yell at the staff. Don't yell at the staff. Write a letter to the corporation. Go to the corporation's or headquarters. Or tweet them now. Yeah, that's right. Make fun of their social media person, <laughs> who's the equivalent of the person working behind the counter. That's right. Exactly. So, look. Uh, yeah, but I, I think that's okay. I think w- why not? You could do a Joker Scorsese movie, and it's got it's tangentially linked to the. To the to the universe or whatever. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I, I want to see different interpretations. I, I do too, but I also feel like if you're going to make it the Joker, mm. I want to see more superhero y stuff. Right. I, like, I'd really like to see a Batman movie in the style of a, Sc- a Scorsese movie where it's, you know, it's, you know, the criminals on their downtime, yeah. just, you know, sitting in, in, in chairs in a dark back room just mm. talking about their lives or whatever. Like, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. And then Batman steams in. Like, they're not just anonymous yes. flunkies. Yeah, right. Like, they have lives. I think your and- mic is going down oh, away from you. <laughs> it's escaping. Yeah. From from my opinions, from yes. my bad opinions. <laughs> Good. All right. No yeah. matter how much you pay for a microphone stand, they, they always, always sink. They always do it, yeah. Don't worry, we're getting brand new Maybe mics. that's where the money is. We pivot this podcast to a crowdfunding campaign for microphone stands that don't sink. Now that we've said that, somebody's already made, they're already manufacturing it. And God they'll, and they'll damn beat it. us to market. <laughs> wow. We'll edit this bit out. They'll edit this out. Hmm. I was watching the thing about it, the guy who invented the, um, I can't remember I saw this on, on YouTube. <laughs> it's it's a, basically, it's a it's a, like the end of a headphone jack and you put it into your phone. Yes. And it's just one button and you allocate it to a function on your phone. It could be like your torch could be pause button, whatever. Uh-huh. And so he crowdfunded it at all. But by the time he kind of got around to putting it out there, like some China, in the, the Chinese marketplace had just mass produced it already. Huh. I think using also his designs oh, and right. already put it out. Because he would have put up like, here's a video of my, some, p- my plans. I think they even, like they use the same factory that's him oh, or something. Wow. Oh, was, there was, there's a few that they did it about. Yeah, right. It might have been someone else that was actually uh-huh. on that video. But yeah. So if you're going to crowdfund something, make sure you got you got the means to make it as quickly as you can yes. before you put those ideas out there. Happened to the guy who invented the coat hanger as well. Is that true? The wire hanger. Really? He worked at a wire factory. What was it before that? What did they used to just throw them on the floor? No, like fences. Yeah. Fences? No, like I th- <laughs> no, like <laughs> threw them on fences. No, like I guess they would use wooden like wooden hangers. Oh, but okay, He invented right. the wire hanger. Well, that makes so much Because yeah. he worked at a wire factory yeah. and he's just like, I don't have a place to put my coat. I'll just get a bit of wire and I'll make that. And then his boss stole it. Yeah. His coat. Yeah, he stole his coat, <laughs> put it on a fence, <laughs> climbed over the fence. And he's like, my coat's ruined. And he stole my idea. What are we talking about? Wires. No, the Joker. The Wire. I've never seen it yet. It's a great show. Yeah, I've heard good things. It's a great show. I've heard even season two, which people don't like, is still good. No, people love season two. Okay, that's what I heard too. <laughs> <laughs> we both heard the same thing. Uh-huh. The Joker. Sorry, you yeah. were saying something. I don't know. I w- See, that's the thing. Like... It's not if it's just if it's just a man descending into insanity with some vague notions of the DC universe, yep. and then he puts on clown makeup. That could be anything. You could make a movie that's sort of crime related, and at the end he puts on some weird makeup and kills people. Yeah, that's not a superhero movie. Yeah, it's just a movie with a lunatic in it. Yes, okay. You know, I mean, it's the same as Taxi Driver. It's a man who goes mad, and then he shaves the sides of his head. Sure. And then he shoots some people. Yeah. It's not a superhero movie. That's true. That's Hawkeye's role in Endgame, though. <laughs> exactly. That's right. Yeah. That's what's going on there. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's going to be a little bit more. Is that than what that. I've said? Does that make any sense? Yeah. I, I, yeah. You're just saying, no, you're not. I don't disagree with you at all. Yeah. I'm hoping it's a little bit more than, than, than that, though. The other thing is, because we were talking about this before, because there's already memes that are like, this is going to kill, this is a real comic book movie, and. Fuck all everything everyone else has ever done. This is this is yeah. how you do it. First of all, it's not out, so we don't <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. But even, you know what? I want it to be great because if it's great, then we get more. Yeah. Just do a different thing. Exactly. Yeah. Like we and we we'll get more like superhero period pieces. Yep. I want to give give us a Punisher esque movie set in the seventies. Exactly. That'd be yeah. great. That's because I mean. like I still I know there's so many modern interpretations of the Punisher, but I still. When I think of the Punisher, I still think of like his first appearances from the seventies, yeah. where he's wearing like the white gloves oh, and the so white good. boots, yeah. and he's got the you know, it's he's not he's not just a dude in a Punisher t shirt with a trench coat. Yeah, he's like a he's, he's like a shield outfit or yeah, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm with you, man. Mm. Yeah. Well, that was because that Daredevil movie that was gonna they were gonna make before it went back to Marvel. It was gonna be it was Joe Carnahan who did Wolf Fight. 
Yep. Mm-hmm. He was going to make a 1970s-esque like taxi driver daredevil movie. Yeah, right, that was uh-huh. his idea. Yeah, so yeah. So give us give us a good one of this, whatever it is. And then everything set in the 70s. Yeah, for or 80s or whatever this exactly, is. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. But this is oh, I thought you would also like it's it's got the shit New York. It's not New York, it's Gotham. <laughs> yeah, it's right. got that shit New York that you love. I kind of do like that, yeah. <laughs> Everything's dirty. Everybody's smoking everywhere. Don't touch anything. People are smoking in diners. Yeah. Trying to get your eggs and people are ashing out in them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know? yeah. It's like yeah. that weird Ghostbusters universe, you know, where everything's horrible and yes. grimy or whatever. Yeah. Uh, any, any other thoughts about that? He's, what's he, he's got, he's got the, his, his, his sick old, is that his mother? Yeah, his mum. He's yeah. bathing his mother. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Is he a man who was always mad and and was always mean, and then he got tipped over the edge? Or by did, society? Yeah, or was it? Or was he? Was he going to do it regardless? Because oh. cheeseburgers were not for breakfast, or whatever. <laughs> someone ashed into his eggs at the diner. Maybe. Yeah. There you go. He just gets beat up a lot in this trailer. He seems he? to be. Yeah, he's he gets hit by cars, lot. beaten up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. All right. Uh, a lot of people are saying his physicality, though. Is very Joker esque. Yeah, definitely. Because he's a good, he's a he's a floppy looking. Yeah, he's all floppy and, and dangerous. And you give that dude like a straight razor or whatever, and exactly. Just yeah. let him flop around with a straight <laughs> razor. razor. Yeah, wouldn't want to meet him in a dirty '70s subway car. Definitely not. You're trying to get through, and he's flopping him yeah. out with his I'm razor blades. I'm fairly confident I could beat that guy up. Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, um, Arthur Fleck. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he's still Arthur Fleck. I mean, everyone else is. Yeah, he's still Arthur Fleck. Huh. Did you Interesting. S- did you see anyone not beat him up in that trailer? No, everybody beats him up in the yeah. trailer. Also, mm. I don't, I'm not sold on the costume. What's the seventies or eighties or whatever it is? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think I said eighties in the trailer, but it might be this with my video, but it might be the seventies. It's the cut. I just give me, just make him purple and green. Mm. It's the Joker. It's like the Caesar Romero suit and it's yeah, a Kings yeah. of Comedy kind of throwback. Yeah, yeah. It's uh-huh. King of Comedy throwback and whatever. it is a King of Comedy. Throwback. You seen King of Comedy? Yes. Yeah, I watched it recently. Well, about whenever recently you <laughs> for this. Yes. It looks like it just looks like the King of Comedy. It does. It really does. Yeah. So, yeah. Um. 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 Did you? I didn't look at his page of jokes. I did. He sees, he's, yeah. yeah, yeah. They're not. They're not good. <laughs> okay, good. And something. There's ones yeah. like I can't. Even, I couldn't even think of them. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't think he's going to be a good comedian, which is kind of the point. Yeah, I guess. for sure. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's very the killing joke. Yes, definitely. Mm-hmm. Does that mean we're going to get more of? Because Bruce Wayne's a kid in this, presumably. Yeah. yeah. Right. He's in the trailer. Okay. I think. Yeah. Okay. All mm. right. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Dad time. And what better ad time than now? What better place than here? What better ad than Casper? Wow. Is that a Rage Against the Machine lyric? I think it is. <laughs> yes. That's what they were raging against. They were raging against exorbitantly priced mattresses. Oh, really? Yes. Man, well, that's good because we do spend one third of our life sleeping and you want to be comfortable on a mattress that isn't exorbitantly priced. Again, Rage oh, Against the Machine lyrics. Hell <laughs> can't stop us now. That's right. Can we use this in the ad? Yeah, why not? The experts at Casper, they work tirelessly on to make a quality sleep surface that cradles your natural geometry in all the right places. Continue. Breathable design that helps you sleep. Cool and regulates your body temperature throughout the night. With over 20,000 reviews with an average of 4.8 stars across Casper, Amazon, Google. Fast becoming the internet's favorite mattress. I'm definitely going to have to turn down your side of it. All right. The, we'll fix it in, in post. Edit. Yeah, uh, Mason, you've got one. I do. You rage against the machine of bad mattresses and, and exorbitant and prices. Exorbitant prices, exactly. But how do you feel right. about yours? Bulls on parade, more like counting sheep. Leaping over a little fence, yeah, as I good. yeah, as they say. Yes, no, I hear you, man. I enjoy it very much. Do you enjoy it's the good. unboxing experience? Yes. I know I keep bringing that up, but it's important to me that they don't just. Slump. What do you not believe me? Well, I just don't want them to slump a mattress on, in my driveway and leave. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> exactly. That's my point. Yeah. I mean, not another one. You live not in a bad neighborhood. One. Yeah, exactly. So you know, it comes in a box. Easy to carry mm. and maneuver and, and get it wherever you need to be, and then you open it up and it unfolds. Mm. Like the lyrics. To a Rage Against the Machine album. Yes, very good. <laughs> the cover, when you open it up and you read the Oh, you read the lyrics. The oh, yeah, I get it now. I see what you're saying. Do they now. still do that? I don't think you get lyrics in a... In a who even buys or CDs. CD? <laughs> People don't buy CDs anymore. They buy well-priced mattresses. And vinyl. They buy that too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. to cover their mattress if they wet the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Mason, you can be sure of your purchase. With Casper's 100-night risk-free sleep on a trial, you can get $50 towards select mattresses by visiting casper.com slash theweeklyplanet and using theweeklyplanet or one word at checkout. 
Terms and conditions apply. That's fifty dollars towards select mattresses by visiting casper.com slash the weekly planet and using the weekly planet at checkout. Terms and conditions apply. I yes, like- sir, I'll do what you tell me. Yeah, that's good. Go to Casper.com <laughs> and put in the offer get a, code. Get a, I feel like this is gonna be one of those ads they make us do again. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will Anderson's new comedy show is uh, is is currently happening at this very moment. Probably right, very, currently right. Now. It probably is. They're good value for money. There, yeah. you get you get you get some good value in there. Definitely. Uh, he's a um, he's a friend of the show. He obviously does many a podcast and radio show and TV show. He's a professional. He does it all. One day we'll be like him. No. <laughs> One day we'll be as tall as him? Maybe stacked on each other's That's, shoulders. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> His new show is called Will Informed, and I need to stress this. It's only going until April 21st. I need to stress this. Yep. That's not a typo. It's not okay. ill-informed. What it's I? a pun on oh, his no, name. Oh, no, that's right. It's, that's it's right. Will-informed. Stress that also. We're mm-hmm. stressing two things. So April 21st, that's only two weeks from now. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So bloody get on it. It plays at the Comedy Theatre. Also, it's an incredibly popular show every year. Buy well, tickets now. That's right. Don't wait. Tickets. Yeah. It's what people do. They wait. They're like, yeah. oh, comedy festival's on. Oh, we'll, get some, we'll, wait, we'll wait a couple of weeks. We'll get, t- we'll get tickets on the Saturday. Night. So it's the last Saturday comedy festival. It's going to sell out. You're going to miss out. Buy De- now. Exactly. Buy now. Plan your night ahead. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Go on a weekday. Yeah. Treat uh, yourself. You can actually, if you're thinking of buying them, which you are. Yes. Uh, they're on sale at comedy.com.au. Oh, yes. Obviously, people will know him from, from TOEFOP. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Groom and Transfer. Will- Willosophy. Willosophy. Mm-hmm. Triple M Hot Breakfast. That's right. Just being on TV in many things. Yes. You'll see him on a thing. Yeah, it's his 23rd Melbourne Comedy Festival uh, show. Mm-hmm. He's got a great reputation as a human being. <laughs> yes. But also for- But that's uh, not important in this, at this forget juncture. Forget that. Forget about it. Put that it. aside. Yes. Uh, for, but he's also- Oh, excuse me. I'd just like to buy some tickets to see a man be a good bloke. <laughs> Just like some tickets, get out of here. Shut up. Shut up. He sold out his shows for the last 11 years. What happened those first couple of years? It's no good. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but for those last 11 years. Sick. Primo. But that's incredible, right? Yeah, it is incredible. 11 years of sold out mm-hmm. shows and probably also very well sold shows prior to that. There's a bunch of, uh, bunch of very glowing reviews. I haven't seen a negative one at all. The one here I've got is a masterclass in comedy. He may be our, one of our biggest comedy ex- exports with a national profile on radio and television, but flying solo on stage is where Anderson truly shines. The man is on fire. Again, not literally. Not literally. Don't buy tickets yeah. if you're expecting him to be on fire. But he is doing that on his last show on April 21st. That's what, that's what he's promised us. Ooh, yeah. Getting quick while you can. That's comedy.com. Dot au. Get it while it's hot and he's not on fire. Get it while he's not on fire. <laughs> yep. All right. I'm in the show. Show. Mason, it's a big week for DC though. Yes. Because Shazam. Shazam. Yes. yes. Shazza. Yep. He's got a new movie out. It's called oh, yeah. Shazam. <laughs> yes. No, it's David F. Sandberg. Uh, it's it's going to make 51 million, they reckon, around in the, the Who's US. Who's that? Who's David F. Sandberg? The director of this movie. No, but I mean, what else has he done? Oh, I did look this up recently and then I immediately forgot. Cool. Uh, I think he did a what was that horror movie he did recently? Oh, before we get to before we get to he did Lights Out and Annabelle Creation, which is apparently a good one. Okay, okay. before we get to that, there's one more piece of news okay. that that Yana has informed us of on Twitter mm-hmm. uh, at rewrite the day. Um, the cats in Cats will be the size <laughs> of cats. Yes. So we've discussed this before. There's yeah. a there's some sort of live action plus CGI movie version of the musical Cats, which everybody hates. Like it's the, been, the but musical? it's been on Broadway for 400 years. I saw a Vita recently, which has been on Broadway for 400 years. You hated it. It's terrible. Good. <laughs> it's a terrible oh, musical. Oh, no. Yeah. And they changed stuff up? With the, like they changed the life of a Vita? Is that right? I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. but anyway. I love musicals, Mason. Yeah, you know I know you that. do. Yeah. And I did not like this one. And also the acoustics were really bad, so I couldn't understand what anyone was saying. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. So, but, but my question was... Because the cats in Cats, yeah. the musical, cats. are regular people in bizarre-looking cat costumes. Yeah. And I said, are they going to be like, in the movie, are they just going to be animated cats like look, that look like real cats, cats that sing? Yeah. But. Here we go. The cats will be the size of cats. Okay. Oversized sets, which will make the actors seem feline size in comparison. They will, they will not be made to look like cats through makeup. The movie is using motion capture graphics instead. Motion cat. Show. Oh, <laughs> did they write it that? still doesn't say what they look like though. I think it's humanoid cats. Okay, all right. I hate this. Yeah, everyone does. <laughs> yep, everyone hates it. Yeah, but this is—it's going to be amazing. 
Signs point to the use of CGI in the creation of the cats. Yeah, we know. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> Still doesn't say though. Show us a picture of the cat. There is. There was that thing because Gordon Ramsay's in it. But are they going to be cat coloured? Because in the play, they're different the music, colours. They're they're like, like, like a purple blue cat. And whatever. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> ridiculous. Ridiculous. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, the character Rum Tum Tugger is going to be played by James Corden, Jason Derulo. Jason, Jason Derulo. Derulo. Jason Derulo. Jason Derulo. No word, no word yet on whether he'll sing. He'll sneak some stuff. What in. are you talking he'll about? He'll sneak some stuff. Well, this says no word yet on whether he'll sing of or rap, he'll sing. as in the London revival. This Rum Tum Tugger raps, apparently. Great. Yeah. Then he'll do that. Yeah. Jason Derulo, yeah. Rum Tum Tugger. <laughs> That's what he's going to say before every before every number. And they'd be like, "Could you stop doing that?" And it's like, no. Well, Tom Hooper directed this. Who did Lay Miz? He did King's Speech. He's got some, and I really like Lay Miz, the, okay. the movie. I, I think that's um. It's as good as you can kind of do it, except Ooh. they shouldn't have cast Russell Crowe because okay. he's not mm. hes not very good. Well, it. I've not learned anything from this except for the Jason Derulo I think Derulo it's going to be humanoid cat people. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I guess they'd want a traditional, like they'd want the musical look, right? You want that look, you Mason. You want that look, yeah. I mean, yeah, they're not going to do like that Tim Burton Planet of the Apes cat makeup, are they? No, We're kind of past that at this point. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. All right, anyway. Shism. Shazam. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, 51 million US weekend. Uh, that seems low. Yeah, it's a bit low, but it's not, It's still really good considering the budget is anywhere between 80 to 100 million. Cheap? And Yes, apparently. But it, it, this definitely looks... It I, looks wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought it was no, cheap. No, it looks better than Justice League despite costing yes. probably about a third. Yes. Yeah. That but, is wild. But it's going to... I'd imagine on word of mouth alone... This, this is this, just going to carry. I think so. This is going to do pretty well. Because, spoiler alert, it's yeah. a good movie. I like it a lot. It is a good lot. movie. I agree. It might be my favourite. DC movie. I think it might be mine as well. Yeah. Do you remember what the story was? Oh, no. <laughs> you got me, didn't you? You bloody got me. Yeah, what do you got? He's um, a, a, a little boy. Yep. He's not that little. He's like 14. He's 14. He's a teenage yeah. boy, Bill Batson, and 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 he's he's an orphan. He's sad. Yes. So he's running away from his families. They're like, we love you. And he's like, nuts to that. <laughs> I'm going to get out here, put my bindle on my back, and I'm going to get out of here. I'm out on the but town. But I find, find my mother. I bet she's still alive. I'll yes. find, find her. Um, and then and then he meets a wizard. Yep. And the wizard's like, do you want to be Shazam? And he's like, not hey, really. Not really. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. This is a weird situation you put me in. Yeah. I'm in a cave. Will you let me I go? I don't know how to get here. You're yeah. Gonna, I've got to touch his stuff and be magic, <laughs> I guess. I don't like this. Yes. But then he's Shazam. And then he's Shazam. And he lends his, his powers and his... Is he using them for good or for financial gain? Both. Bit of both. Yeah. Yeah. I um, What I didn't like about this is the trailer, between the trailer and that new 52 run, mm-hmm. the entire movie is laid out. For right. This. So if you and, and also a lot of the jokes. So if you um, so if someone were to say what comic book run should I read in preparation for Shazam? None of them. Is don't what do saying. not read the new okay, run because right, gotcha. it will. Did you read it? Did you? I read, read it, it prior. I read it years ago. It's yeah, good because right. it's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you're right. It does. Mm. Yeah, the, the trailer reveals a lot about yes. this movie. <laughs> but there is a few. What I also like there's there's some kind of jokes that they cut out in the trailers and in the in between jokes. Which I th- it's pretty funny. It is funny. Like it's, yeah. Overall, it's a pretty funny movie. Yeah, I just I just wish a lot of it I hadn't seen. Mm. You can see where they kept the budget down as opposed to like Aquaman because they didn't have to pretend to film underwater and everyone's got CGI hair. <laughs> That's you true. You used yeah. to have two guys screaming in an alley at each other for a lot of these. <laughs> true. Guys. Yeah. For a yeah. lot of it, it keeps the cost down. That's you know? true. Yeah. Yeah. And the teenage, you know, you, the teenage character, you pay him less. As you well, pay him so. less. Pay him less. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I I didn't feel as much. From that, there is that disconnect between Shazam and when he's Billy, as I did from the trailers. Yes, I felt they kind of that was a concern of mine going in, and they kind of that gap between those two characters feels more organic. Yeah, than what I was led to believe, yeah, or what uh-huh. I took from it at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, we're led to believe very early on that he's like that. Holy moly! Like the yeah. old, the old school Billy Batson. Like, oh boy. Yeah, I'm just here to be a fun old fun fun have, find my mum and and be a fun little kid. Mm. But then it's like quite quite quickly dispelled, and he's like he's a cynical teen because he's an orphan and he's been moved around all these foster homes. Yeah, but then like. When he gets the when he gets the when he's all shazammed up, yes, you know he he glammed up. When he gets glammed up, he kind yeah. of like that sense of wonder sort of overtakes him. Yeah, as and it so, would, yeah. as it absolutely would. Yeah, yeah. I thought uh, Zachary Levi was really good. Me too. It was really fun. Yeah, he kind of in the same way. I mean, this is obviously a, a big homage. For, uh-huh. I mean, there's a piano. It's a number of 
it's, you know, it's, it's it's big with superheroes, basically. Yeah, for sure. But uh-huh. it, it captures that kind of wonder of if you were a kid or anybody really who you were suddenly given these given these abilities. That's true. Yeah, and not only like what you would do with it, but how would you how you react? The kind of panic that would set in. Yeah, right. You know what you'd use it for, and you uh-huh. know, and yeah. And yep. also, if you actually got in a real fight with an with an actual adult, yes, <laughs> like how you would, yeah. how you would react to that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Okay. Here's a question for you: Is this the best Superman movie? I, it's not a Superman movie. It's not a exactly, and I don't mean that in a bad way. No, th- that was our yeah. fear. I think is yeah. that well, our fear, but I think it it was a concern that the best Superman movie would be a movie that doesn't have Superman in it at all. Yeah, but, but I feel like this is very much its own character. Yeah, uh huh, yeah. absolutely. And I also, I mean, even if you put aside the powers and abilities, I mean, a lot of his powers are kind of Superman esque. Yeah, uh huh. But if you put that aside, the the character itself is very different from that's true. Clark yeah. and Superman. But I think, like in terms, of like like thematically, in terms of like you know, you've got all these powers. Are you going to go- do good? Are you not going to do good? Mm. What are you? What are you going to? You know, how how what are you going? How you going to? How you going to affect the world? And how are you going to? That sort of stuff. I, I, and and it, and it felt structurally. It felt very. It it felt kind of Superman esque. Yeah. Because we've got a we've got a Superman style hero and we've got a Lex Luthor style villain in mm. Doctor Savannah. Yeah. Uh probably the best Lex Luthor we've seen. Yes, exactly. Right. Yeah. Even though it's not a Superman movie. Yeah. Look, yeah. I th- again, I, I don't like Shazam. Doesn't feel like Shazam the character doesn't feel like Superman, but I feel. Dr. Savannah is a way better Lex Luthor than we've seen in any yes. of the movies thus far. And his father is also a Lex Luthor. Father. Oh, he's Lionel Luthor. He's Lionel Luthor. He's like, yeah. That didn't, didn't even twig until, yeah. until that point. He was Lionel Luthor in Smallville. Yeah. And now he's Mr. Savannah Senior. It's crazy because in the New 52 run, the you know, the bullies that are in this. Than this, yes, they've got a father, and he's only in the comics, and and he's also like a rich bully, and he's like, "You kids are no good, or whatever, uh-huh. you scumbag teenagers." Yeah, right. He looks exactly like Lionel Luther. Like they've clearly modelled him off. Oh, interesting. That okay. guy, yeah, so right. It's, it's, interesting. Yeah, so they got that guy for this. Mm-hmm. But n- sorry, what were you saying? Did I cut you off then? Or no, you, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you have in the past, but this time you did not. You let me get out my full thoughts. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just saying that I think, yeah, I, this is a great Lex Luthor, even though it isn't Lex Luthor. Yes. Even though the character was clearly modelled on Lex Luthor back in the day. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Definitely. But no, I think, I, I do wonder... Or wh- wasn't, it's probably a coincidence, uh, I don't know. Well, because he was after Superman, but didn't he, didn't he then overtake Superman in sales and then they... Then they sued, then they they sued, sued Fawcett Comics. And then yeah. eventually they got him in like the 70s or something. They, they, yeah, they, they... So, for anybody who doesn't know... Uh, uh, this character in the comic books is originally called Captain Marvel. So there's yeah. a kind of a running gag in the movie as to what this character's name is. Because yeah. again, if you become a superhero, how do you name the character? Yeah. And also these powers, of the powers and the look and the uniform have all been sort of thrust upon him. Mm. He hasn't built the character from the ground up. So yeah. he has an idea. Like he's not Batman. He's like, well, I'm a bat, so I guess I'm... Yeah. So, th- so there's a running gag in this movie. Like, how, what do we call the character? Mm. And as he, as he, as we go through the movie, like... They the the characters, but he and and Freddie Freeman put mm. up some videos on YouTube to sort of increase his notoriety. Yeah, and he gets oh, he's like in and each time they give him a different name. Mm. Uh, so the 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 character originally in the comic books was called Captain Marvel. Yep, and then when DC uh, prevented Fawcett Comics from publishing that character anymore, it went away. Yep, and then DC purchased that that company and the character, and by the time they were ready to uh, release. Like uh, put ca- that character in stories again. Marvel Comics came into being, yes, and so they got the trademark for characters with they got the, they they got the trademark for comic books with Marvel in the title. Yes, so Captain Marvel, DC's Captain Marvel, couldn't be called Captain Marvel in his like on 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 comic book covers anymore. So they yep. had to call him Shazam. So the comic book, but was they all, still kept Captain Marvel. Yeah, the character until like twenty twelve. Yeah, the yeah. character can be called Captain Marvel in the comic books. Yeah. But they just can't use the cup. They can't put Captain Marvel on the cover. Yeah. So it's always Power of Shazam or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, that's a good story, though. It's a good. It's a good old story. Yeah. But so, they, yeah. in 2012, they officially just went. Yeah, we're kind of. We're just gonna. It's Shazam. Now. It's Shazam. Which now, I think yeah. work, I think it works better now. Uh-huh. No, considering everything else, it's kind of. Yeah. You know, everything else it's called Captain Marvel at the moment. <laughs> that's it's true. It's, yeah. It's a lot. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I, what I did really like about this was his family. I thought they were really yeah. well fleshed out. His foster parents and yep. the 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 other the other Children, kids in the yeah. group home, yeah. Which again, exactly from the comics, like where they're all from as well. They're like they look identical. Mm-hmm. It's pretty 
it's pretty bloody dead on. But that was a really... It's pretty uh, sick. It is pretty sick, okay. Mason. Yeah. It's a pretty... Uh, I thought it was a really interesting dynamic and you care about them and they all got their own personalities and whatever. <laughs> and I think they... You'd hope so. Well, you'd, you'd you'd think know, as a, you, that's the thing. You'd think as a bare minimum for a movie, each each character would have their own personalities. But some movies don't reach that lofty goal. I just mean goal. because there's so many of them. Yeah, that that's true. Like, you, but you do definitely get a sense of what each one is like. And they yeah. don't get a hell of a lot of screen time, screen time each, but you know what each that's of them true, is, yeah. as, is like from that. But the... Well, what, I guess one of the sub set of villains we won't spoil. We'll yeah, that's fair. Uh-huh. Spoilers, but yeah. Speaking of that, that villain though, it's what I did like about him. It, he part, kind of bought this kind of Raiders of the Lost Ark kind of eighties Ghostbusters kind of spookiness to that's him. That's true. He did, yeah. Like that uh-huh. kind of danger and magic and Judge Doom, Judge Doom from Roger Rabbit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of that. And you know, you see someone touch a door and they kind of burst into flames or whatever. And uh-huh. Which is a bit Indiana Jones and yeah, uh-huh. uh, and there's like a Ghostbusters demon dogs kind of homage kind of um, that's true also yeah uh-huh. thing but no I thought he was like Mark Strong's done a few comic book movies now some better than others uh, Kingsman Kick-Ass. two. It wasn't in Kingsman 2, was he? Yeah. Did he die, didn't he die in 1? He got hit with a rocket launcher? No. Yeah. That's Kingsman 2. Oh, sorry. I'm thinking of Kick-Ass. <laughs> yes. But he did are. get with a rocket launcher in Kingsman 2 or a mine or Yeah, so that's a mine, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mark Strong would have been a good Lex Luthor. I Not agree. He to, yeah. to be because he's this guy. Uh-huh. But uh, I, kn- well, I mean, maybe this is the new DC superhero franchise. Maybe mm. Shazam's going to kick off in a way that... That that Superman yeah. kind of hasn't. Yeah. Yes. I would. Yeah, I would say yeah. definitely say uh-huh. so. This de- this also feels like, and I don't mean this in a bad way. It's DC's response to Deadpool. I didn't feel that at all. But go ahead. In a kind of, it's it's self referential. It's aware That's true. of what it is. Uh-huh. Uh Not in, not in he's like he's winking at the camera and and uh-huh. whatever. But it's I think Deadpool kind of paved the way for this kind of silliness. Yeah, and, and I don't mean I, I don't mean it's a rip off. That's not what I'm. Uh, yeah, I mean this in the best. <laughs> You're saying it's way. a direct rip off of I'm Deadpool. De- Deadpool, who was also himself a, a direct rip off of another character. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but I feel like that opened the door for this. Yeah, I guess yeah. that's true, and it's also it's a, this this movie is definitely a reflection of the savviness of the comic book movie fan. Yeah, because we've got in in the movie Freddie Freeman, his foster brother. You know he he is mad for superheroes, as you would be in a world that has superheroes in it. He's got a he's got a replica batarang. He's got yep. what is supposedly a a bullet that that, that, bounce, Superman, that bounced yeah. off Superman. Yeah, mm. uh huh. So and he and I think that that's a good that's that's a really good mechanism. Yeah, he's a good he's a fun character, uh, and he's not as annoying as he could be, which mm. is nice. Yes, and he's a good mechanism. For okay, well, if you're if you've become this superhero, how do we figure out what your deal is? Yes. because he's such a big fan, he knows what powers people have, and he knows yep. how to sort of how to how would you bring those powers out? Yeah, in, absolutely. If you had those yeah, abilities, yeah. yeah. That's a fun montage of them trying to trying out different things, and mm-hmm. he's pretending power is one thing, and then he'll yeah. he's, do, he's doing a different test at the same time. He doesn't have the wisdom of Solomon. That yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. supposed to be one of his powers. He never gets it at any point, does no, he? No, he doesn't. Yeah, I think though in the comic, maybe it's different in the New Fifty Two version. His wisdom is more like magical wisdom, oh. but he doesn't really have that doesn't either. Have that. He definitely doesn't. Like have in, that. The, in the he has like no idea. I, I haven't really read that many appearances of maybe something Captain you Marvel. access, like the way you yeah. access the lightning powers. Like he didn't know he could do that. And then that's true. Maybe that. maybe, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. in the in the comic books, it's more like the ver- the, the versions I've seen. It's more like he'll recognize like a. Uh, like a scepter or something like that. He'd be like, oh, that's the scepter of blah, blah, blah. Oh, they still use that in comics. The scepter of blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the scepter of blah, blah, blah. I thought it was out of continuity. <laughs> right. It's interesting. It's probably brought it back. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I thought it had a few kind of pacing issues, though. Go ahead. I think it kind of, there were moments where it kind of, it kind of meandered and it kind of took its time to kind of. Really? I think it was a bit long in, in spots. Right. Where it was, because it was kind of, I don't know, the arc that it took and it kind of, I don't know, it felt like the, the pacing of it was off. I couldn't even say specifically how huh. but there were moments where i just felt like we can move this along a you know what bit. It, yeah. to me it felt like it was very much it was very enjoyable for me but i feel like and i wouldn't say it was by the numbers necessarily but i think it hit all the beats that mm. a superhero like in this style should have hit yeah and i guess if you are if you've had your fill of that sort of thing, you might be like, pick it up. We know yeah. how this works. And maybe that was also because I kind of knew where it was going based on the things that I'd Actually, you're right in the now. sense that he does have this... The the arc of Billy Bats and Shazam in this is that first, initially, he just wants to use the powers for, like, to personal gain mm. and kind of show off and that sort of stuff. And I think there's a couple... There's maybe one too many beats 
yeah. of him and Freddie Freeman having an argument of like, well, you should use this for good. And he's like, yeah. but I just want to be I cool. Shoot ATMs or exactly. whatever. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So maybe you're right in that sense. There, yeah. there is. But even a, like the final battle was a bit kind of like, and now we're over here, and now I'm back as Billy, and now yeah, right, you're uh-huh. over here, and I'm over here, and let's <laughs> go over here. Like I felt it was a bit kind of. Yeah, right. And now you're over here. Do yeah, you know I, mean? I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But it did have heart. I think it did in, have a, heart, in a yeah. lot of ways, probably. Wonder Woman was probably the last one that did it as well. That had terms, heart? Yeah. I think this has more heart, quite Yeah, frankly. you're probably right. Yeah. Because yeah. I think, because, and it wasn't, I, I quite like the ending to this. Uh-huh. There's a kind of one fight going on and there's another fight going on relatively mm. near. Yeah. And one I enjoyed more than the other, but we'll talk about that more in spoilers. Okay. But it's definitely better than the Wonder Woman finale of Fire and Absolutely Smoke. Absolutely it is. It's none of Although that. Although it has, but it's some, it's some of it. We'll talk about it in spoilers. Okay. Definitely not as much. No, absolutely not as yeah. much. But, uh, I was also going to say this. I think a lot of people you can you can feel it's people, better than Aquaman is what I'm it's saying. Better than Aquaman, <laughs> you, you can feel people's enjoyment in the cinema. I saw yes. it on like a Thursday afternoon yeah. at a at a just a, a regular cinema. Uh, it was it wasn't packed by any stretch of the imagination, but at the end, people applauded. Oh, yeah, really? like just okay. regular, but like good. This I like this Fine. one. So <laughs> <Thank> finally. <you. laughs> And that's been happening. Like I've I've been sent a few tweets of like I was in the cinema and people applauded. Yeah. So well, that's fun. Yeah. Uh, what did you think of the action though? Ah, uh, I thought it had better action than Batman Superman. Uh, I mean, there's some good action in Batman Superman, but I'm thinking of like the Batman Superman actual fight, which I thought was pretty pretty weak when they actually so f- weak and dumb. Fought, yeah. And also, if if an action sequence in this movie is dumb, I. I'm, I'm, because Unbe- he is dumb. He is dumb. I'm, I'm, will- I'm willing to believe that a 14-year-old boy who is barely in control of weird lightning powers that he yeah. just got doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. But I'm not willing to believe that a 50-year-old super- a Batman doesn't know how to fight somehow. Yeah, yeah. You know? Absolutely. Mm. But uh, there's a bit where the first confrontation he has with Dr. Zavanna, uh-huh. I quite liked. Like the reactions he had, I thought were quite... Genuine, uh huh, yeah. You know what I mean? And where you know he, he kind of sucker punches him at one point, uh huh, which I which I quite enjoyed. But mm. yeah, uh, maybe we'll do spoilers. How about that? Okay, I'm gonna say best movie ever. Definitely. What, should yeah. we? Uh, do we have any thoughts about any other? Perf- what 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 a, what a real reviewers talk about when they talk about a movie? It's a good question. We Mason. talked about we talked about pacing. We talked about performances. We talked about special effects. Are good. That doesn't look like a cheap movie. I like the costume. I also like the costume. I know it's kind of over the top and dumb, yeah, uh-huh. but that's why I like it. Because yeah. I didn't try to make it like... Edgy. Like, uh, well, I, can't, I can't talk about it. There's a, about other costumes in the DC universe, which I don't like, yeah, right. which are highlighted in this movie. Okay, that's all right. Um, but no, I think it's 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 intentionally kind of garish and bright and gold yeah. mm-hmm. and and dumb. He has gold, I, he's wearing gold moon boots. Yeah, and I think it's great. Yeah, I think same. it's really, okay. really fun. And they even acknowledge it. He's like, well, maybe he didn't get to pick his costume or whatever. You know? Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Yeah, so yes. this weird terry cloth bloody cape that he's got yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I think this one's very enjoyable. I don't think it's like amazing. I'm not. I'm not like this is the best comic book movie ever made, but uh-huh. it's fun, man. It's it's and it's you yeah. know what, and it's a fun standalone. Yep. You don't have to know anything going in. Mm. You know, it's a movie where the people in it know Superman and Batman. Yep. You know, so which versions? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to be up to date with Aquaman nah, and blah blah blah. You if don't. you've got a vague awareness of, you don't even need that. You really don't. It's, it's yeah. good for good for good for kids and adults alike. Yes. Kids at heart. Kids at heart. Kids mm. who fart. All right, steady on. All kids. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you've really lowered the tone of this. Thank you. Spoilers. Mm-hmm. I like the reveal that his mum is kind of a, a deadbeat and and he has that realisation that... That he has to do everything Yeah, because it's kind of yeah. heartbreaking, but then he, you kind of see where he goes, well, I don't have this, but I've got... The re- the re- I've got yeah. this, you know what I mean? My I've real got, family. My real the, yeah, family, yeah. Exactly, I, thought, uh-huh. I thought that was really nice. That was nice, yeah. And there's not a lot of movies... Oh, the, they did the Mark Walter, Wahlberg Foster movie, kid, kids movie. Instant Family! Yeah, that, which is apparently quite fun or whatever. Whatever. But you don't... <laughs> but you You've don't. lost me forever, Cade Yeager. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not your fault, but it kind of is. <laughs> but you, you did too. You did do too. Yeah. No, uh, you, you don't get see really movies, mainstream movies about foster families or whatever that that much. That's you true. Know I mean, you might get an indie whatever, but yep. I think it's good to kind of make this kind of movie for general audiences because you know, being kids being adopted or whatever, or their yep. parents are you know, not conventional parents or uh-huh. whatever. It's it's a good message. It's, it's something good to say. If we're in spoilers, here's my here's my biggest thing issue. Mm. He doesn't get a name in this movie. 
Well, if he says Shazam, he'll change back. That's what I'm saying. So he can't <laughs> say his name. Yeah. But in the comic books, he's still Captain Marvel. Yeah. So what? what's his name? I, th- I really think they should have done a gag where they just go, I'm going to call myself Captain Marvel. You know? Maybe they couldn't. Like legally, yeah, reasons. maybe. I guess yeah. that's true, but it 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 kind of bugs me that he doesn't have one. Yeah, you know. Well, Aquaman didn't get a name, did he? Oh, they call him. That's the true. Aquaman, yeah, I think. Yeah, they do. I think. Yeah, Affleck says it to him at one point. Yeah, Lex yeah. Luthor should have given him a name. <laughs> <laughs> he just shows up at the end. I was surprised. He, was yacht, he goes past yeah. his yacht. And he's like, "You're Captain Marvel." <laughs> <laughs> can you? Can I bet you can't wait to see a worm. Dr. Zavanna. Mr. Mind. And yeah, and also bloody... Black Adam? Lex Luthor standing next to each other. Skidding yeah. from Jesse Eisenberg. Oh, so good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd forgotten who Mr. Mind was when it turned <laughs> up. It was one of those moments where I'm like... Did it blow you, Mr. Mind? No, I was like, I don't no, I don't get that at <laughs> all. Uh, but also, it's uh, having... I sk- skimmed through the comic again because I did an Easter egg video. Yeah, right. Mitch edited it. Thank you, Mitch. Okay, yeah. But um, it's the end of the comic. It's the exact ending. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Mr. Mind comes up and is okay. like, you want to do some evil stuff or whatever? I'm glad I didn't read it in advance. No, you, you definitely benefited from that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, okay, so you know what one bit I didn't particularly like? Well, not the one fact bit. that he didn't get a name at the end. I agree. Yeah, both of us agree with that. But that didn't bother me, actually. I thought it was kind of fun. But They've got to give him... What, what are they going to They've got to call him Shazam and he can just never say it. That's, what's, that's what it's going But how would be. they know? Someone else will say Also, it. they all say Shazam. Yeah. So... Are they all called Shazam? Like his family. Yeah, because like I like the no, Adam. Got I didn't names. know. I didn't know Adam Brody was going to show up. in That this. I really enjoyed. He yes. was also the Flash. Uh, he was going to be the Flash in Justice League Mortal. All oh, right, uh huh. So that was cool. And someone from Riverdale, like the yeah. the Asian dude's Riverdale, from guy from Riverdale. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was really fun seeing the family. Get so they 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 all in in the fifty two version they're all they all have they all have one power each. I I, I in the fifty two version I'm fairly confident. They just divide his powers. Right, okay. So it's kind of diluted. But this, they make mention that one of them's got speed and... They all seem to have one power each. So Adam Brody, Adam Brody can fly. Yeah. And yeah, the rest are split up. But I don't know if that was really clear because they all could still punch a lot and... That's true, yeah. Whatever, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Because yeah... The Captain Punch-A-Lot. This, Captain Punch-A-Lot. There a we go, name. yeah. Because one had the zappy powers and... But who's got wisdom? Like what do you get? I think with that? Mary Marvel had wisdom. Okay, because she seems to be the worst at fighting. Oh yeah, because she was <laughs> in, just in consumed by a by a big demon. Yeah. Okay, I didn't like the demon designs. I thought they were kind of genericy and samey. Yeah, because you can remember some of them, though, right? One was a big mouth. One had wings. One had four arms. Maybe. <laughs> no, definitively. Maybe it Mason. eats Lionel Luther. Cool. Yeah. But that, I couldn't tell you the rest I love of it. that bit where we're in the boardroom and he just pitches that guy at the, <laughs> at the window. I yeah, right. That a lot. Uh-huh. It's good because I think these kind of, because it's a kid's movie, sort yeah. of. Mm-hmm. I, that, I think this kind of element of a little bit scary. That, it felt, like, it felt like Batman yeah. 89 when the Joker yeah. shows up at the, the mobsters meeting Definitely, and he's like, I'm going to yeah. kill all of you. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. he does. He does. It's he murders true. them all. I liked, I liked that Savannah's whole, like he'd been spent years. I really enjoyed that he'd spent years trying to find his way back to the, the rock of eternity yeah that, that was fun and he did and he did it he's a winner in a way he's yeah, a winner he's a winner but i also enjoyed how he gave billy batson the powers just because he's like i i just have to give it to someone yeah right uh-huh. and it's and it's you i it's guess you, i guess yeah yeah because because uh-huh. i guess there is no perfect person because yeah. even the previous person that he gave him to turned out to be shit yeah anyway. he really built a rod for his own back didn't he, he certainly did yeah that bloody Jimon Honsu is really good at dying in comic book movies. Boy, is he. He was an Aquaman yeah. for four oh, seconds as a fish There's man. a minute in the movie where we see a guy. He looks maybe... It's it's during the... I think it's maybe during the first fight with Savannah. We see a man who looks like maybe like a homeless dude or a rough looking dude. And it looks like the wizard Shazam, but like in civilian clothing. I and I thought that would come back at some point, but it never does. Oh, okay. He's def- I'm like, that looks exactly like Shazam. Is that the guy? Looks, looks, looks like the guy. Is that the guy? It wasn't, but it wasn't. It yeah. never came up again. Never came up again. He's probably still alive. Yeah, he probably is. Mm-hmm. Do you think that, well, the wizard, I know in the, in the New 52, I think he's dead. Oh. Or he definitely dies in that run. Oh. But in other versions, he's still alive, isn't he? Correct. He's yeah. like he's like in a super Illuminati. Yeah. With some of the other, he's he's in this, he's in like he's, they're called the quintessence. Yeah. And they're like 
like a super Illuminati that are always like, "There's danger approaching. Yeah. Let's not do anything." <laughs> it's one of those one of those guys. And he's also like Superman will run, go up to him and be like, "What are you doing? Yeah, giving powers to it. What are you doing? <laughs> Give it. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. He's yeah. a boy. Okay, so Superman's in this. He's not really though, is he? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not him. Yeah, like they obviously did get Henry Cavill. Do you think he's still Superman? I don't know, but I think he should have been. Like, I mean, he doesn't owe them any favors. No, he, they they put him in some bad movies and didn't really do some justice. People loved them. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> that that didn't really do justice, as it were, to that character. But he could have been in it for five minutes. Come on. Well, not I- even that. He should. He could have. He could have done that. What he could have done is they could have put the suit on him. He could have walked on set, sat down, stood up again, and left. Yep. And that would have been that would have been it. That would also, have been they it. had they definitely have a scan of his head. <laughs> they could do it without 100%. his permission. Yeah, and not only that, like I mentioned this in the Easter egg video, they've definitely got green screen footage of him. Yeah, right. Like hundred percent, they could have uh-huh. used him. So I think, but maybe if you put him in, what if he sat down? And he had the full mustache on. Did you see that leaked image? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. A Finally, people too. Finally, looks good. Yeah, he looks great. <laughs> Just let him have a mustache. If they had Lois, to- I think this looks good. <laughs> It's uh, weird. I've been in. I've been. I've been dead for a bit, and only my mustache grew. Don't I look good? Oh. <laughs> they could have just if they had given him a beard, it would. That's have been what a I'm problem. saying. Yeah. it wouldn't have been a problem. Yeah. They'd have just made that creative just, decision. If you're gonna do mustache and then like heavy stubble, heavy stubble would have looked great. That's what he pretty much had in Ghost Protocol. Out. Anyway, yeah. whatever it was exactly. called. Yeah, there you bloody go. Yes, I, I don't know if he's Superman though. Yeah, because I think they would have used him otherwise, like with just a scan or whatever. Yeah, right. right I don't right. know. I mean, maybe he is, but it just seems odd that. Yeah, I mean, it's also kind of a gag that you don't see him, but it felt. My, I was saw it with one of my brothers, uh-huh. and he was like, "That really kind of ruined the idea of this, like this weird." Yeah, right. That suit is fucking horrible as well. That Superman suit. That's what I was going <laughs> right. to say before. It's just slick and gross. Yeah, right. Slippery. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's no good. It's no good. And yeah. it's not the one they, it's not the, the Justice League one that they oh, kind of, it's the, the, dogs it's the, the uh, Batman v Superman Batman. one. Yeah. The dark, miserable the, one. Yeah, the gross one. Mm. Dogs at the door. Dogs at the door. Dogs at my feet. Do you think they're going to do it? Well, like are they? The Affleck's obviously gone. Yes. Do you think they're going to for do, now? No, he's out yeah. forever. But yeah. do you think they're going to do a Justice League with these characters, the ones that people like, <sighs> and Henry Cavill? I would. I would be keen to see. I would be keen to see some sort of Superman Shazam team up. Mm. Where, but even that, even that. Like that makes sense in the in the comic book universe where it's like you know Superman who's been doing it for years, like he's doing the superhero game for years and years, and then he has to mentor like a guy who's just as powerful as him. Yeah, but he's a little boy. That would be fun for them to go on adventures. But also, Shazam is not a murderer. That's true. I mean, who's teaching who? Is yeah, what exactly. I'm That's right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. It wouldn't work. Yeah. Okay, now Billy just snapped this guy's neck. Uh... Oh, but he's just robbed a bank. Is that fair? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> you got the next one. Yes. Uh, I, I, I enjoyed that bit where they were fighting in the sky at the end. Yeah. And he's doing the, 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 the super, super villain speech. speech yeah. Because uh-huh. I guess he doesn't have super hearing or whatever. I guess he doesn't. Or yeah. well, maybe he can't access it yet. Yeah, exactly. Maybe it's a yeah. Wisdom of Solomon situation. That's right. Yeah. What were you saying about the, uh, you thought it was a bit smoking CGI fire or whatever? Well, they're just, they're big grey demons, aren't they? Yeah, that, yes, I don't like that. Mm. Yeah, I, they were kind of just like look like poo monsters. They did look like poo monsters, yeah. <laughs> so, uh-huh. Yeah, I th- but I did enjoy the, he kind of tricks the demon out of him. and Yeah, right, right, right. Uh-huh. That's slightly different in the comics. He doesn't have the, that comic actually, it's based, the, the villain is Black Adam. Right. And uh-huh. then there's Savannah, who's got an eye that can see magic that's also killing him. And then you've got the seven deadly sins separate from oh, that Oh, they're separate, again. okay, right. And right. they're also... They've been trapped in human form, and they also have distinct looks. They don't just look like or look like a gross poo monster. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh-huh. They, they, they look yeah, like right. uh-huh. things. Okay. Yeah. We got no Black Adam post credit sequence. No, which I thought was interesting. We did. I mean, he's definitely. I I'd say off, off the success of this. Yeah. Right. I think even if this doesn't crush the box office, I think they'll still make another one based on how, right, uh-huh. how well it's been received by yeah. people, as, mm. as they should. Yes. Yeah. It's nice. It is nice. It's a it's nice, nice, fun movie. To like nice things. It is. Li- it's nice. It's nice situations. Nice people. That's right. Nice movies. Man, this guy should be the Lex Luthor, though. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. He's he's got the skills. He's got the head. 
He's got the head for it. He looks great bald. He does look good bald. He he's always got, has. He's got a great leather jacket. He does have a good He's got jacket. a weird suit. He's got a, yeah, he's got that fur-lined collar maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I thought the Santa Claus running gag wasn't great. Yeah, I didn't think that was good either. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, all in all, go and see it. Good, good fun time. Or see a different movie. Yeah. Got some reviews here from people who... You may have some more thoughts, Mason, and you're welcome to share them. Okay, I'm but ready. In the meantime, Todd Steele says, Just saw Shazam, was pretty good. I feel like Mark Strong was meant to make up for Jesse Eisenberg's Les Luther, Lex Luthor, best mm-hmm. movie ever. Uh, Vanjie says, I love Shazam. Kudos to DC for showing us the Marvel family in action. Like, what's Lex Luthor's power in, in this, in, in the, the DC universe? He's just rich. He's got a boat. Like he's the, rich and he's got a boat. Like the Kevin Spacey one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, good. <laughs> And introduce characters without spelling out who they are. The noticeable homeless guy in the crowd when Shazam catches the bus is Talky Tawny, right? Uh, I thought that was a talking tiger. Tiger, it is, yeah. Okay, right. I thought that was a rare... Because, you know, when you, at the end, they're in the... I think that also saved this movie from being kind of grey smoke monster ending as they put it in a fairground. It was and, nice to be in a real place. Yeah, and right? Were, people exactly. People were running into things. But at the end, of, they're, in the, they're in the prize booth. Yeah. And he gives the yeah. little girl the tiger. And he's after a tiger at the start. I think that. And he's also got tigers on his suit. Ah, oh, right. The things connecting his cape are little tiger oh, heads. The tigers. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's a fun uh, Dan says Shazam is truly delightful uh, though I wish I would have gone without seeing the trailers which give away many of the best jokes also the sky sky high hype surrounding it made me feel slightly underwhelmed uh, which is unfortunate because it's not the movie's fault and Nick Key says oh. uh, she says they finally made a movie where every single line was a witty meta quip also does this mean that uh, that any everyone in the world can be Shazam now because that means if you say the name, you can change into Shazam. But I think you have to have the powers to. Yeah, and I think I think I think the, the, the magic, the magic was destined for him and his family. Right. I don't think he, just anybody could do it. But I think he can transfer it to whoever. Oh, I see. Right. Because right, you, right. you hold the you hold the yeah. staff. And oh, you, I guess so. Yeah. Mm. Just split it among the world. We all get a little bit. Oh, what that's pretty cool. That? We could all charge our phones forever. Yeah. Oh, that's the power I want. Because this movie's all about, like, if you could have flight or invisibility, which, which power would you choose? Which phone would you charge with it? Charge my own phone. That'd yeah. be incredible. Mm. That, I wouldn't have to carry around one of those little battery packs anymore. You'd explode it every time. I'd explode it go every single so time. Phones, yeah. But everybody would get it, you know? Mm. You'd go back to the Apple store and you'd be like, I exploded this, exploded this and, and, and the guy would be like, yeah, we I exploded a few as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you, give you a new one. We all have that power We now. all do. Anything else? Um... There's seven deadly sins. Yep. And there's seven chairs in the in the thing. So the seventh guy's Black Adam. Is that the bit? Is that the? Is that the rule? Chairs in the on the on the on in the, the, in the on the rock on the rock of eternity. There's seven. I don't of them, think any there? of them are Black Adam. I think they gave their powers to Black Adam because they have that montage. You know, they do a bit where he goes and we gave it to this guy, but then he killed a bunch of people. Or oh, that's Black Adam with it. Yeah, right, okay. I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Right, right. Mm. Okay. We're going to be getting that movie in a few years' time. I hope so. Me too. And you know what it's time for? What's the time for? What we're we reading? Oh, what we're going to read. I'm doing the theme. What are we reading today? <laughs> we just had a funny little quip during that. Uh... We didn't. There was no break. <laughs> there was no break. James has edited in the 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 theme, but there was no pause. So there was no. I might was... edit in some banter in post. Just just some old banter <laughs> from maybe the first episode. Mm. Of the show. Uh, what are you reading, Mason? Uh, I've been actually watching a Friends of the Show Stupid Old Studios. Yes. How you, as we know, have a show called Gamey Game. I'm familiar with that. And now that I'm back in the world of Gamey, Gamey Games. You, you bought one game. Calm down. Yeah, I bought one. Bloody I bought a, Nintendo Boy over yeah, there. That's right. That's you, Nintendo Boy. Well, I figured boy. I'd get back into that, uh, that, uh, that, that show. It's great. Mm, it it's is. It's good. It's, it's got a funny. great, great team. It's, uh, it's often Evan. Evan Monroe Smith. Often. Often. Always. 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 But yeah. often Ben Russell, Naomi Higgins. Often. Often them. Yep. Uh, Mark Bernano. Yeah. Marty he's Donna's good. He's on great. there. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really good. Mm. It's a good show. People you should told watch me it. that you're going to make Evan put you back on that show. I said I'd ask nicely. You said make. I said, I said I'd ask nicely <laughs> because there's uh, maybe Mortal Kombat 11's coming out. And I'll probably and buy that, play that and play one, it. Yeah. yeah. 23rd of April. We looked it up. Oh, before hello. The show. You also mentioned before the show that you were going to uh, re- recommend some comedy stuff. Well, if you're in Melbourne. Will Anderson, obviously, Mason. Yes, obviously. Yeah. But here's some people who didn't pay us. 
Just to be clear, Will Anderson didn't pay us. No. It comes it comes through a separate organisation. <laughs> uh-huh. he's, he's not paying us out of pocket to promote uh-huh. his show. No, that's true, because we've done a bad job. <laughs> yes. But anyway, here's some shows I've already seen. Yep. And some I haven't seen, mm-hmm. but I'm going to recommend anyway, uh, p- who are part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Got it. And have live shows. Yes. So our friends Alastair and Andy from Talking- Two in the Think Tank, they have a show called Magma. At the Comedy Festival, which is an engineering presentation about magma. Yes. It's really smart and incredibly dumb. I've seen it. I love People those guys. I that, love the show last it's year. It's such a good show. I'm going to see it this it's year. really good. You yeah. should see that. Uh, Danielle Walker from Batch Bitch. Yeah. There's a show called Myths and Legends, which is about myths and legends, some of which are real, some of which are not. And it's really funny. I've seen that one. Fantastic. Uh, Josh Earl has two shows. He has mm. Josh Earl Talks, which is uh, a, a show. He's, he's not doing any guitars. He's not doing any. It's, there's no gimmicks. There's no gimmicks to this show. Oh. You like some gimmicks, though. <laughs> no, I don't. There's go. no train cakes. Uh, it's a story about his uh, some a, a story that happened in his life. It's an amazing story. Uh, I've seen that show. It's really good. He also has "Don't You Know Who I Am?" Yes, on the That's weekends, with, yeah. uh, which is just uh, his his podcast live. Great guest. You should definitely see it before he has to edit out all the. All those scandalous bits, <laughs> which happens often in the live show, and he's like, "Well, that's not going in." Uh, our friends over at Do Go On are doing live podcasts. They've got a couple left. Of course, I might be on one of them. We'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, uh, Matt Stewart has his show Bone Dry, yes. which is We've been great. Getting very good reviews. Get in quick yeah. for that one. He sells out a lot of the time. Yeah. Our friends Vic and M, their comedy gems. They have some live shows. Comedy gems. Yesterday's show had Dil Rock J. Sinner and uh, and Guy Montgomery from New Zealand. Great show. Comedy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Emily Tresseder has a live stand up show. Also, get on that. Comedy. Uh, but also our friends uh, Tommy Daslo. He's got a live stand up show. Comedy. What's his show night? called? This year? It's called Balding Cherub. Oh, that's right. I yeah. think it's the funniest show he's ever done. Really? Yeah. But you don't like his comedy. I know. That's the <laughs> twist. That's the twist. Uh, Chimp Cop is a sketch comedy yes. duo. Uh, not a duo. There's four of them. There's two duos. There's, they're funny every year. They've got a yep. show that's great. Uh, friends of the show, uh, Becky Lucas, Cameron James have shows that are also great. Cameron James from Michael Fighting Williams. Drago. Michael Williams. Yeah. I'm going to see his show tomorrow night. Yes. Monday night. Yep. So if anybody wants to come along, yep. say hi. Absolutely. And purchase a ticket for his show. We'll all see it together. Do it. Let's sell out his first show. When's this coming out? I don't know. Okay, good. Monday. All right, well, cool. All right. Well, if anybody's hearing this on Monday and in Melbourne, it's on at like 9.30 or something. Yes. Let's all go to that. You did a live show, but is that being released as a... Um... Oh, I did a show uh, called uh, Big Deal. Yes. Our friends over at Sans Pants Radio did it. It's a nightmare quiz show, <laughs> and I think it was being filmed. So that might come out oh, cool. on Excellent. YouTube. I'll let you know if it does. I'll let you know if it does. How about that? Anyway, what are you reading? Um, I haven't seen any comedy yet because I ran home with holes in me. Oh, yeah, you did. That happened. You had that, that, happened. Had that medical issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A minor fine. medical issue. Uh, yeah. But I did watch the first two episodes of The Twilight Zone. Um, first two, I, you say? Yes, well, I, I, I had them uh, sent to me, which was nice. Oh. But uh, basically, um, if you don't know The Twilight Zone... Finally, I had someone who could send them to me. You don't. But oh. basically, it's a uh, it's a spooky time. Oh, yes. And the first episode is about a comedian, but maybe he bloody b- bit off more he can, he can chew, whatever, and... Whatever. It's and fine. then everyone dies at the end and everyone dies he and wants whatever. to just read, but then he breaks his glasses. Breaks his glasses, that's wow. right. Yeah, yeah. What happens in the second episode? I don't know. Wow. I just kind of couldn't bring myself to watch it, mate. Too spooky. No, you just, were spooked. Uh, the second one was, uh, was that the, the play on the gremlin on the wing one. Was it really? But it's not that. <laughs> okay. But it is. It, yeah, is, right. it's, it is. it is plain focused. I didn't really like the first one. I thought really? it was kind of flat and kind of predictable. And, and you know when you see stand-up in... Um, in TV, TV shows and shows. movies. And in this, it's not really supposed to be good, I believe, the stand-up. Like, yeah, right. Because it's just kind of saying anything and people are loving it. But that means you have to watch bad stand-up. Yes. Also, is the premise of the first episode that he makes some sort of deal and he's the funniest yeah, man in the world? pretty okay. much. Something, right. Yeah, along those lines. Yeah, but then at what cost, etc. Mm. And I just think it was... And I think my problem with The Twilight Zone is, and I shouldn't, this shouldn't be the, have a problem with, there's there's no... Diversity. Yeah, diversity is a huge problem for me. <laughs> right. But not only that, there's no... Um, there's White no, people. Yeah, they're not, I'm not a fan. Mm. But there's no... <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's no final solution. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, I've run out. You can Adam go Scott's in the second one. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, nice. Which I enjoyed a lot more. I enjoyed the second one a lot more. There's no explanation for anything ever. It's just like, what a weird thing. That's true. The end? Yeah, right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but but I think you just got it. That's the Twilight Zone, isn't it? That is true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't need a like, and then this happened, and this is the moral. Like, it's more moral 
based than yeah okay than, uh, do you feel do you feel like this version of the Twilight Zone has been influenced by say Black Mirror yes definitely really except they don't explain it <laughs> yeah right <laughs> yeah with Black Mirror it's like it's an app <laughs> do you get but it too far <laughs> too many apps mm-hmm. yeah but I think it's I mean because it's a um anthology it's up and down obviously that's true yeah uh, and I, I enjoyed the second one a lot more okay. which is also had a podcast in it because you know it's an app. <laughs> You, be- but better too far. Believe- you better believe it's an app, but too far. Yeah, there we that's, go. That's good. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'll watch some episodes. Maybe someone will send them to you. Oh, is it you? I don't know. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, what's next? Ne- the next is letters. So we're going to do a letters theme. I I'm going to put it in. The classic one was letters, oh letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a day away. Hang on to here right now. We're going to do letters. Now, I deliberately didn't say anything then because as this comes out live, yeah. just to prove there was no banter while the, while the thing was happening. There's none. Silence. And then we do more of the episode. We are doing more of the episode. It's the latest segment. If you want to reach the show, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod on Twitter or yeah. weeklyplanetpod at gmail. That's right. Dot com. Uh, Mason also sometimes dips into the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates group. That's a really good group if you want to talk about a discussion about a current movie or a yes. podcast or anything that you're doing or up to. You want to post a meme, there's a meme thread. Put yeah. it in the meme thread. Yeah, don't. Not put it in the meme thread. Put it in the meme thread. This is, look at all the you memes. You make Eleven's upset. Is look that what you many, want? Look how many memes are in the meme thread. Yeah. All the hot memes. All the hot memes. Hot, fresh memes. It's Levin's his birthday. It is too. Happy birthday, so, Andrew Levin's. You know, don't make him go crazy with memes. Yeah, that's true. Unless you find a great birthday meme. <laughs> then post that a hundred times. Post the hundred times. <laughs> Mason, uh, what do you got? Oh, this is, this is from Twitter today. Okay. Uh, this is from Amit a Guitar. I don't think that's how you pronounce it. That's right. What's the most inappropriate film you could make action figures or toys for? Spotlight. <laughs> now it's your turn. Oh, man. Let me think. <laughs> you don't have to say that one. That's a good question. Uh, I find uh, sometimes you see like weird action figures for like... Sometimes it's ironic. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, you know, the informant mm. action figures. Yeah, yeah. You know? Uh-huh. But sometimes they'll be like an obscure... It's not. It's not even... It's more collectible figurines and action figures for like it's like why is there an office space figurine? Do you know That's what I mean? true, it's like yeah. Stuff uh-huh. like that, but yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but yeah. Mm. Mm, good question though. Good question. Well, you've you've had you've got the best answer, I mate. I did, yeah, yeah. I don't have any answers to that, but it, it to, to tie it into that. What's though, the, what's the least action packed movie there is? Because the, the point of the action figure is you and you smash them together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the least action packed movie? Yes. Uh, so no. Does that mean even like drama? Even there's not even that dramatic element. Oh no, that would be fun. I think. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you could pick a movie like The Family Stone, where like it's about a family getting together, but do they get to? Do they really get together? Or are they? What about uh, what about Inside Lewin Davis? <laughs> and it's just you get your somebody make an Oscar, get it, get your Poe Dameron figure <laughs> and turn it into Lewin Davis, and just have him just have him like shuffle on stage. shuffling through the snow, <laughs> just shivering, getting to gigs that get cancelled. Yeah, how about this one? It's a multi-pack. Yes. It's that movie where a whole like seven different actors play Bob Dylan. And you, <laughs> oh, I'm not you get, there. It's, like, it's the yeah. Kate Blanchard version. Nice. It's the Christian Bale version. Yeah, they that's just pretty do good. All. That's great. Great. Thank you. I like you. that a lot. Great and thank you. Mm. And because they can never interact. No. They're all Bob Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> or yep. there's a Bob Dylan action play set. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Okay. They kiss. Nice. <laughs> and they have like a Justice League style table, like round table. <laughs> With BD in the middle. With BD in the middle, exactly. Stands for Bob Dylan. Stands for Stands for Bob Dylan, yeah. And nothing else. Yep. <laughs> yes. Great. Mm. Uh, this is kind of related. Dan Isaac says, hashtag we're here, Planet Pod. Is there any old uh, old toys from the, f- from the film, TV, or comic book world that you wish you had or wish they made? Something you ever look back on and go, man, I wish I, I, wish I had all the original Star Wars stuff. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. I mean, that's not yeah. an option you for You know, I've always, I've always wanted an... The Transformers, the movie, the old one, the animated one, mm. RC, who was the one girl Transformer. Oh, yeah. Did they but make that one, though? There's an unofficial one. Oh, there is? There's like, uh, and it's really good. Yeah. Like uh, a new one or like one No, it's quite, them? it's quite recent. It's like yeah. a couple of years ago. They, there's like, there's apparently like a whole grey market of knockoff Transformers toys where people are just like, they didn't make that. I'm going to make it. Yeah. I'm going to make my own one. I'll do it. I'll do it. So I'll I'll like do that. It. I won't do it. Okay. Someone no, don't, do no it. don't do it. Yeah. Uh you had the turtle blimp, didn't you? I did have the oh, turtle blimp. You son of a bitch. Yeah, I had the turtle blimp. But you bloody loved it too, didn't you? I did. Yeah, you would. I ran Because it was a na- really good toy. That's yeah. probably why you loved it probably, so that's much. That's why I loved it. I put all my Ninja Turtles on it. Yeah. Yeah. 
I remember that I knew a guy who had it and he had it like tied it up me? to his roof. No, it wasn't you. <laughs> wow. We didn't know each other when we, when we, were, when we were little, little. Yeah. We're still pretty little, still little. but little. Yeah. Uh, but he was like, it was always up on his roof. He's like, I can't bring it down because it deflates when you bring it down. I'm like, that's bullshit. Yeah. You think I'm just going to wreck it? And guess what? I will. <laughs> <laughs> I will wreck it. You, 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 disc- you created a ruse to get him out and then you threw a knife at it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, it's deflated, but it's still up there. That's weird. <laughs> How do you explain that? How do you explain it? No, I just want to be clear. Yep. Because I had it. Yeah. It did not deflate. <laughs> that Never guy, deflated. He lied to he me. He lied to you. Yeah. How, how, so do you blow it up when you get it? Yeah, you blow Obviously. it up. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. And it's then- not a Casper mattress. You've got to blow it up <laughs> manually. <laughs> but you then- don't open the box and it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> but then if you wanted to pack it away you could deflate it i assume yeah, yeah 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 i had the van turtle van was good yeah yeah and the and the and the skateboard that had the foot underneath it that oh, would kick up. Yeah. that's sick yeah but two of those are no turtle blimp I'll that, that, that being said the turtle blimp didn't float no oh, you unless it somebody with, filled it i was with gonna helium. say you filled it with helium, it probably there, there's probably a drone version now that does fly. there definitely is a that drone would be version great you know what i like batman 89 mm. proper Utility belt. Is that a real thing or is that just something that you... No, that never existed. Yeah, right. With a, like a flippy out bat- batarang. Yeah. That'll be, that'll Throw be. it at your dad. Throw it at my dad. <laughs> Th- when he, you know, when he's trying to escape on a helicopter. <laughs> Throw around his leg. Falls to his dad. He has to go for dinner. <laughs> yeah, he's, got, he's, he's got you. Yeah. You got him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me think. There's nothing really recent. I, I do look at those like sideshow collectible stuff and be like, this, I would love all of these. But yeah, I just same. cannot justify no. four hundred dollars a pop. No, exactly. Yeah. I think I'd like an Iron Man at some yep. point, but which one? Which one? There's so many. There's too I'd many. I'd get the suitcase suit. That's yeah, my favorite one. one. Yeah. I like yeah, the yeah. look of that one. Yeah. That one can't fly, can it? Doesn't seem to be able to. No, I can't get it. Then I got <laughs> it. Exactly. Hey, you can just tie, just tie it to the roof. No, just tie it to the roof. Not that. But I can fill it with helium. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I prob- like maybe like one of the. See, that's the thing because I'd like one of the obscure armors. Yes. Like from Iron Man Three, but then I'd have a collectible from Iron Man Three. Oh, and I don't right. want yeah. that. Yeah. That's that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe I, uh, Avengers era. Yeah. Sure. Avengers era Iron Man. That's a good suit. Yeah. That's okay. I like that one. I I would I would love to have like an Iron Man armor. Not like a real, I mean, a real <laughs> one, sure. But like, you know, like a really good cosplay one that like fits me properly. Oh, yes. I'd never use it. No. But it would just be good to have. Just keep it in the closet. Because I know if I ever wore it out, people would be like, why do you fucking have this? <laughs> exactly. Because it's that cool. Looks, that looks really expensive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I couldn't justify it. No. I wanted the Ninja, like, remember when we were kids, the Ninja Turtles were impossible to get? Yeah. You could not get them anywhere. Yeah. And then there'd be a rumor that they would came out for four minutes and then they were immediately gone or whatever. I remember. Yeah. Now they mass produce everything get everything on ebay or whatever it doesn't really i feel maybe i've told you this before but when i was a kid before the the the, the day before the, oh, the week it, the yeah. weekend before the cartoon came out here i had a, i had insider knowledge because yeah. i read the archie comics you ninja knew. turtles and i went to kmart and they were all there and i was like grand can you buy me a ninja turtle and she's like those are hideous i'll not buy those for you get them another time yeah and then the the cartoon hit big and then i couldn't get any ever they were just gone i mean i could have bought bought them on my own could have not leached off my grandmother, but whatever. What money did you have? Then I didn't have any money. I was going to say yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. But then she bought me the turtle blimp, so that's fine. <sighs> yeah, she should have. That's a fair <laughs> compromise. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Go on my tweet here. Charlie Newman says, "Yes." I show with you, Planet Pod. What stupid di- thing do you suspect they might do with the Joker movie? A la the Joker killing the Waynes, killing young Bruce, or driving him ins- insane, etc. Just a lazy subversion of people's knowledge for the sake of shock value. That's a very real possibility. I would put money, not a lot of money because I don't have a lot of money, but I would put a small amount of money mm. on the idea that he drives Bruce Wayne to become Batman. Oh, okay. But that, that, By killing that, his dad? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. then and then that's the... Not just like motivates him. Like, you can do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is something that you're yes. destined to do and I believe exactly. you can do. Be, and that, that I, I can see them doing it like it's a fresh, edgy take, even though it was in the 1989 Batman yes, movie, obviously. Right. Uh, it's pretty edgy, though. It's pretty... pretty And fresh, I should it's also fresh say. fresh and edgy, exactly. It's yeah. been 30 years. It's pretty sick. 30 what do you years. Think? Yeah, right. 30 years this year. That's true. We should do a Batman 89 commentary before... Joker. Joker. Okay, let's do it. We probably won't. Because we we've got to do Endgame and Wolverine Origins. Do you mean Infinity War? Shut up, Mason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I think they'll... Pro- yeah. They'll do something. Because they need they they need to tie it into a, a DC universe of some sort. Mm. Again, otherwise it's just Taxi Driver. Yeah. So I think they're going to do something that they think is a fresh, hot, edgy take. But it'll yes. just be something we have all seen a million times before. Well, that's what I want. What do you want? 
I hope that he inspires somebody to become Hawkman. Mm. Right? Bruce Wayne. Fresh. That's fresh. That's very fresh. Yeah, that's good yeah. stuff. Is that uh-huh. the show then? I think. Oh, I got a one more. One more. You got a one more? This is, uh, this is from My Name is Jeff. Uh, have we been asked this before? It's pretty good though. If they could make a five-member Avengers-like team with only Tom Cruise characters, which five would you select? Sounds like something we'd do, but I'll do this again. <laughs> uh, obviously, his character from The Mummy. Yep, I was going to say his character from The Mummy, yeah. Jack... Mummy for that. Jack kiss you to death. What's his name? Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah. Jack Reacher, obviously. obviously. The man mountain Jack Reacher. Yes. yes. The unstoppable freight train that is <laughs> big man Jack Reacher. I think obviously. you've got to go Last Samurai. Yep, okay, for the swords and such. For the swords and such. Um, Ethan Hunt, two, number two, with the And hair. Minority Report? How many is that? Nah, he's too sad because of his son. That's probably true. Yeah, he yeah. hasn't got future powers. No, that's true. Does he true, have future yeah. powers or is he on the run? He's got a very weird jetpack sometimes. What a, that's true. What about Top Gun? What about he's got a jet? What about it's an eighties jet cocktail? What is it? He's just is it, so they get back to base and he's like, here we go. Here we no, go, he's jet. doing it on mission. <laughs> <laughs> Pouring drinks. Pouring drinks. Exactly. Are they chemical cocktails to to destroy enemies, or are no, they just actually they're cocktails? complicated cocktails that take twenty minutes when you're like six deep at the bar? You know, <laughs> I love that. And everybody's like espresso martinis, and you're like, oh god, oh, no. I just wanted, a, oh, I just wanted something simple. Just oh, water. can you serve me first? Yeah. We have an express lane, please. There's never is. Yeah. Espresso martini. Boy. Okay. For real though, no yeah. guy from the mummy. Oh, you probably should put him because he's got the powers of. He's got the powers of the mummy. I don't like it, but he's probably in there. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Jack Reacher, yep. Mission Impossible Two, Tom Cruise. You know um, that's the same as the other Mission Impossible Tom Cruise. No, it's not Mason. <laughs> the distinct characters. He's way more indestructible. Well, than then the why other wouldn't ones. we just? Why wouldn't we just use? Couldn't we just have Ethan Hunt one, three, four, five, and six? <laughs> No. Really? All right. One's too kind of espionage and All right. Sad. Okay. Yeah. Two's the best one. Yep. It, not as a movie, but objectively, like, action-wise. Yeah, he's unstoppable. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Huh. Are you looking up other Tom Cruise characters? I can't because my internet is oh. dead in this dead zone. Okay, I'm going to look up Tom Cruise. Okay, good. Yours also might be dead. Days of Thunder. Uh, just a car. Yeah, but what a car. It's just a car. How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, I know. Tom Cruise, but he can jump on couches. It's just Tom Cruise jumping on couches. Oh, I don't know about that. Okay. I, think he did, I think he did more harm than good. <laughs> That's true. To be honest. Also, the last Samurai one, I'm going to take that one out because he just got machine gunned. <laughs> That's true. He's not machine gun proof, <laughs> is he? Uh, Barry Seal from the movie American Made. No. He's a gun runner. Or uh, cocaine dude, isn't he? Edge of Tomorrow guy. Pretty good. He's got the good. skills, yeah, he's got def- the skills doesn't he? And he can see into tomorrow. That's true. Yep. Can he still do that, though? Depends when you pick him out. It's true. Oh, we're pulling them out of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe he's the linchpin. He's the linchpin. Yeah. He's driving it all. Whatever character he played in Night and Day? No. No, it's true. Uh, a Nazi from Valkyrie. That's a good one. It's a good one, isn't we it? We only one hand, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not him. Uh, Les Grossman from Tropic Thunder? No, fuck him. And also, <laughs> that's not very funny, that bit. I know everyone's like, it's hilarious. Do you do you get it? Yeah. Because he's... Fl- no, it's not a good joke. Uh, Deadbeat Dad Ray Ferrier from War of the Worlds? Shit film and no. <laughs> okay. Vincent from Collateral. That's a good one. He's unstoppable. He'd be the villain. Okay, all right. Here's the villain. All right, cool. All right. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Austin Powers. So the version of Tom Cruise that played Austin Powers. Powers, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, because he's still actor Tom Cruise. Yeah. Uh, Hideously scarred David Ames from Vanilla Sky. Nah. All right. Also, not real in a construct. Spoiler alert. Um, um, uh, Frank from Magnolia? I haven't seen it in, no. Okay, right. Um... Super pervy man from Eyes Wide Shut. Uh, I don't know if I've seen all of it and no. Uh, Jerry Maguire. Is he on the team? He sucks. <laughs> but is he on the team? No. <laughs> no. Show me your evil plans. He He's very persu- he was, He's persuasive. He thought he was leading a revolution of uh, marketing and management. Or the whatever. vampire Lestat. But yes. Okay. Yeah, because he's a vampire. You get a vampire and a mummy. Come on. That's that team's unstoppable. Yeah. You can throw Jack Reacher in there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, <laughs> Mitch McAdee from the Firm. No. All right. One of the few good men from a few good men. Hmm. Persuasive again. I guess it depends what kind of team. It's the Avengers. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's kind. That's kind of your Captain America. All isn't right. It? You said no to this earlier. Yeah. The character from Days of Thunder. But were you aware his name's Cole Trickle? <laughs> <laughs> Does that sway you either way? No, he's not okay. in. He's not in. All right. Fine. Charlie from Rain Man. I mean, he's mean. That's true, <laughs> but no. His, bro- his brother would be better. Yeah, he could, they could. They could. He could fund them. 
That's true. With casino monies. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Um, Legend? I was going to say every character who played from 1983 onwards. So how about, right, how about this? Final lineup. Joel from Risky Business, Stefan from All the Right Moves, Jack from Legend, Maverick, and Vincent from The Color of Money. All very That's good. That's the team. i got to watch Color of Money. Yeah. It's the Paul Newman sequel. It's the Paul Newman. I've seen the original yeah, yeah, one, yeah. but I haven't seen yeah. the... That is a team. That's a team that is going to... Run rings around. Are they going to hustle you, that You team? better believe it, mate. Yeah. At volleyball, at pool. <laughs> Cocktails. Cocktails. <laughs> football, probably. Probably football. Yeah, something being, ris- being, being a legend. Being risky. <laughs> being risky. Yeah. But knowing your business. Mm. Yeah, these are all good. Yeah. Great. Uh, is that the show? I think that's the show, actually. Thanks, everybody, for Wrap listening. Wrap it up. And- if you're still indeed listening after that... Atrocious affair where we just listed all of Tom Cruise's movies. I don't think it was atrocious. I think okay, it was great. great content. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, look, thanks everybody for 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 listening and and subscribing and give us a nice review, telling your friends, bailing me up in a kebab shop. If you're a cop, if you're a cop, yeah. only if you're a cop. Yeah. For on, only if you have the authority. <laughs> Otherwise, no. No, no. Yes, yes, no way. Yes. Yeah. Uh, thanks for. Yep. Thanks for. Uh, thanks for everything. Thank you. Oh, it's me, Julie Newman. Welcome. Oh, yeah. To Wong Fu. Never seen it. Read it. <laughs> Whatever fine. it is. <laughs> uh, uh, if you'd like to support, if you'd like to get a hold of us, yes. For starters, Weekly Planet Pod. We're on Gmail. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Bandcamp. I'm Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. I'm oh. Nick Maso M A S E A U on Instagram. You're yes. at Nick, you're at Mr Sunday Movies everywhere. Everywhere you've ever seen. You go to yeah. planetbroadcasting.com. You can listen to every show on the network as many as you like. Subscribe to the newsletter. It's the best. You're allowed to. Rob Collins does it. He's the best. He is the best. He's at the Weekly Planet on Twitter. He is there. And too. Rob Collins on Twitter. That's right. He's the mm. best. Uh, next week, Hellboy and Star Wars celebration. That's true. If you'd like to support the show. Patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. Chuck in a buck. We would love it. Chuck us a buck. We, we're in the new studio currently. Yeah. Progress report. There's masking tape on the floor. Where things will be. Where things will be. That's right. Can we afford those things? No. Who's to say? If, but if someone chucks in a buck, we could purchase an Attica? Yep. That's an what Attica. We, that's what we, it's the top of the couch an or Attica. something. Yeah. There's gonna be a, it's going to be a good situation. Terrific. Mm, can't love wait it. for that. Yeah. We, you, well, we've also got an uh, Amazon affiliate link in our episode description. Yeah. Give it a little clicky clicky on that. If you want to purchase a box set of all of Tom Cruise's movies, <laughs> yeah, I shaped know. like a couch, it's the Attica <laughs> itself <laughs> that he jumped on on that Oprah appearance, <laughs> or whatever you want, and we get a little kickback somehow. We really do. Thank yeah. you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rackham for all our musical themes. We love them, and we sit in silence as they're played. No, not always. Sometimes we have great bands. There's no uh, banter at all. There's never, uh, never been, on, never come been on, any. Come on, never been any. We never stop. That's true. Mm. Uh, we've got the t-shirts on tpublic.com. It's pretty good. That is good. That is good. You can buy as many as you want. Yeah. Mm. Buy one at least. Yeah. Uh, like I said, though, next week, you, that's everything, isn't it? Yeah, it is everything, yes. Okay. Hellboy. Hellboy and Hellboy Star Wars. Hellboy for five minutes, the- Star Wars celebration. Yeah, that's right. If you want to see Hellboy, you can. No pressure. If you want to read about Star Wars news, as I love to do, as we know. Oh, I can't wait till next, because after next, the floodgates are going to be open after, on all Star yeah, Wars. After Endga- yeah, after Endgame comes out, yeah. it's going to be all Star Wars for a year, probably. Yeah, that's right. So, that's, incredible work that I'm excited right. for. But uh, you know what I am excited for? What's that? Uh, they're going to reveal that Star Wars video game. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, like, I am looking forward to Episode Nine and Mandalorian trailers or whatever, but that I really mm-hmm. want to see. That's true. But I'll see you guys later. At the movies. At the movies. And I'll see you guys at a kebab, kebab shop. shop. If you're a cop. Istanbul Kebabs. That's where I go. What's that? Istanbul Kebabs. Okay. It's on Smith Street. Okay. Um, maybe I'll get a kebab. But not not the one you're thinking of. There's two Istanbul Kebabs. There's one bad. I think they're the same, but one's on the corner and one's not on the corner. Which one are you at? The one at the corner. Okay, good. Okay, cool. That Great. was the one I was thinking of. Yeah, that's okay, good. <laughs> okay. Well, now I look like quite the fool. <laughs> All right. Uh, grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want, it's up to you.